With an introduction like that, what more is there to say other than people deluded? I'm back again above my head. You can see it's Manchester United against Liverpool in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. These are two teams that, you know, people older than my 28 years are accustomed to these teams fighting for major honours. You know, Liverpool are in the process of going in a transitional stage with Jurgen Klopp leaving. Manchester United haven't been the Manchester United they've previously been since Sir Alex Ferguson obviously has departed the club. They've won trophies, but it hasn't quite been in that. Now, for Manchester United, there isn't too much of the season to salvage. You know, at best, where the Premier League is concerned, they're hoping on top four. They're out of Europe. The League Cup's obviously been played. The FA Cup could be something for them to salvage. For Liverpool, they've obviously claimed one trophy this season in the League Cup. You know, wrestled it away from Man United, having been the holders of it last year. They're still in the Europa. They're still in with a shout of winning the Premier League. And they're still in at this moment in time where the quarterfinals are concerned with an opportunity to win the FA Cup. Now, I watched Chelsea versus is Leicester crazy game of football? You had crazy mistakes, good catalogue of goals, Raheem Sterling, disaster class. Oh my days, and dramatic, you know, dramatic winners from Chelsea. Obviously, they won 4 2, but at a point, it looked like Leicester might sneak it in. Now, as a neutral, I always say, big up the Liverpool and Man United fans out there, but. I want drama. I want controversy. I want a lot of things. We've got two minutes until kickoff, people. Apparently, this will be the 15th different campaign in which Man United and Liverpool have met in the FA Cup, with the Red Devils progressing 10 times to Liverpool's four. Only Everton and Liverpool in brackets 19 will have met in more different ties in the competition's history. If you haven't smashed the like button, please make sure you're doing such. Twitch gang, one love. If you're watching it on Twitter, one love. Make sure you're cross-following. Man United won their last home game against Liverpool um, sorry, Man United won their last home game against Liverpool in all comps, beating them 2-1 in the Premier League last season. They lost one consecutive times against the Reds at Old Trafford in September 2015. Liverpool lost their last FA Cup encounter with Manchester United 3-2 in January 2021. Overall, they've been eliminated, eliminated by the Red Devils 10 times in this competition. Man United have failed to score in six of their last nine meetings with Liverpool in all comps. And this will be Man United's 48th appearance in the FA Cup quarterfinals, more than any side in the history of the competition Arsenal have won it the most times I would say if you're a Man United fan I'm sure you just want to be competitive you've got Sir Alex Ferguson out there don't embarrass him although there's been several times he's been out there and they have done such people for in terms of the starting lineup Onana, Wambasaka, Varane, Lindelof, Delot, McTominay, Colby Maino very quality player in an experimental uh, England squad I felt it would have been nice to see Maino called up whether he's going to go to the Euros or not Bruno Fernandes Rashford Hoijlin is back and he's finding his feet and Ganacho. you've got Kelly A. Gomez Kwanzaa Van Dijk Robertson and though he's in a good little bit of form of his own, really. I know Liverpool fans probably be disappointed, you know, when you're linked with Lavia, who we haven't seen this season, and Caicedo, but he's done well. Shabozlai, McAllister, uh, Mohamed Salah, Darwin Nunes and Luis Diaz makes up the his starting eleven for Liverpool. And that's the 22 players who will start this clash. I'm a bit sour as an Arsenal fan because this is our trophy and it would have been nice to be in these rounds of the competition. I don't know where a lot of Arsenal fans are at. I... Don't care who wins, you know, respect for respect to both clubs and stuff. If it's not Arsenal, I don't care. But many Arsenal fans would sit there and say, you know, you hope City go all the way in the FA Cup. You hope Liverpool go all the way in their competition, in this competition as well, because it's more games and whatnot. Man United will kick off today at Old Trafford. I'm going with, two, you know what? I don't know. I'm going 2-1 Man United. I'm going to see an upset. I think Bruno's going to score. If I had to bet money... I'd go with Liverpool, people. So, yeah, it is what it is. We've got 3-2 Liverpool. What channel? It's on ITV1, my dude. So, I guess it's on iPlayer and whatnot. Up the mighty Reds. Marcel, shout out to yourself. Junior, appreciate you. Who are you rooting for? Nobody. You know, two massive clubs. Just want, you know, just want to see drama. If Liverpool win, fair enough. If Manchester United win, fair enough. 
Cole Palmer's a bad boy footballer, man. I do think he's being overrated, but he's a bad boy footballer with a lot of potential. And again, I know he's playing out wide. And I guess in today's day and age, you've got to be a multifunctional player. And he's doing well out wide. It's almost like, respectfully to him, like a poor man's Phil Foden kind of thing. But where I look at him, Phil Foden, I think your eights and tens it, 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 when the time's right, really. Although I know both of them... I know we're near Bernardo Silva. You look at Bernardo Silva, he's even played as a six at times. He can play as a six and eight as well as out wide. A long searching ball forward. I mean, unless it's Arsenal at the Emirates, Van Dijk isn't going to be unstuck by that. And Liverpool have cleared their lines. And one thing I'll give Liverpool, I really have liked the squad players that have come in. You could say the same with Colby Maynard, and that's a lovely little drop of the shoulder from him to play it to the left-hand side. You know, the Kwanzaa's, he's not playing today, but Bradley, to a degree, Joe Gomez as well. The squad players have really stood up to be counted for Liverpool. Marcus Rashford, who he actually said, I saw an interview, he's like, Liverpool Liverpool games are some of the games he likes the most. Maynard, Wambasaka with a flick. Oi, it could be one nil already. Oh, Wambasaka, I understand it. As a fullback, when you find yourself in the opposition's area, you get head loss, you get excited. But I can't believe what I'm saying. It was a wonderful phase of play from Manchester United. I'm seeing flicks by Wambasaka. Colby Maynard in play the one-two. Wambasaka clearly got head loss, man. As a fullback. We showed why we're not we're not playing further forward. And we got Wamba Saka because at the end of the day, he's been bought for multi-million pounds. He's playing for Manchester United, which he was a fan. But when you look at Crystal Palace, apparently he was a winger, like, and then it was a chance to make him a fullback. He really progressed through the academy as a as a winger. South London as well. You're telling me there's not duns in South London better than him. Casemiro injured before the game, DG. Great stuff, you know. Big up my editor because he got the thumbnail done. And, you know, Casemiro's not involved. That's a bitter pill to swallow for Manchester United. I don't know who's come in for Casemiro then. I'd imagine maybe McTominay because you'd imagine Maino would have started today. Bruno was evidently going to start today. But who knows, man? It is what it is. 3-1 Liverpool. Do we really see goals like that today? I don't know, man. Based on the way Man United have started, again, it's not how you start, it's how you finish and all of that stuff. So there could be. I'm going with 2-1 Man United. I just think there could be an upset, but I'd expect Liverpool to win if I had to put money down. Diaz has been clattered by McTominay. He says something about self. I was rating, I was, I was rating self. When is the Jada Slander coming, bro? Who's that? I don't understand, man. Yeah, I feel the same. Let Liverpool fail on four fronts, same as last year. I mean, it's a game where you wish... It's like Spurs and Chelsea playing each other, isn't it? Like, you wish both teams lose. Don't get it twisted. You know, I've got massive... Not necessarily for the fans that I know. Big up my friends that are following. The United fans are unbearable. Liverpool fans are unbearable. But Liverpool's a, a, a prestigious club, as is Manchester United. I've got nothing but respect for them. Obvi obviously, Arsenal and Liverpool have had their rivalries. In my 28 years, it was primarily Arsenal versus Man United. But... F them both, isn't it, really? Kobe Maynard, I say this all the time, but I'm jealous. See if we had you, McTominay, Hoijlin, Bruno. And you could argue this, I'm not going to say it means less to Liverpool, but it means more to Man United. And they could be in here. Cali has been forced into a save, I can't lie. It's a strong, it's only three minutes in, but it's a good start for Manchester United. You know, they're getting in behind Liverpool's defence early doors. So good effort from Rashford. It's one you'd expect the keeper to make, but... And again, it's only basically four minutes in. Liverpool have kind of been caught a bit cold and it means a lot more because I'm sure Liverpool want to win the FA Cup and win any trophy. Any trophy they can salvage in Jurgen Klopp's last season and just being a competitive side, it's lit. But United don't have too many things to fight for this season. Mohamed Salah unable to control it there. United looking good. Yo, DG, serious question. What's your favourite Arsenal goal celebration? You can't say Henri versus Leeds at the Emirates because that's all our favourite. Hmm. Thierry Henry's goal where we, ironically, against Man United, in no order, uh, Manchester United, uh, there was a game early doors at the Emirates. We was, I think Van Persie and Thierry Henry scored. We was wearing that first kind of Emirates kit. Anyone that bought that kit, you know, it, it didn't last long. Like the, the kit, the, the, the fly Emirates was coming off. But I, I remember Henry's celebration in that. Uh, what else we got? When he's smacked in that free kick and he asked, is that enough? Save, uh, Onana's been called into action technically by Shabazz. Like, uh, when Henri asked, is that enough? His last goal at the Emirates where he kissed the ground. That's a good question. And there's probably a lot more, man. Like, you put me on the spot, though. Um, that, what else? Hmm. There's definitely a lot more, man. Smith Rowe and Saka in the North London derby a few years ago. 
It wasn't at the Emirates or at Highbury, but um, when we played AC Milan and Cesc Fabregas was there, it was just simple celebration, but the dramatics. All right, Arsha Vins four, goal, goal, four. Yeah, that was messed, though. That was messed. That was iconic. That's where Liverpool and Arsenal, it was a fairly competitive game. Both teams, it went either way. Man United attacking again. To be fair, Kelly has come off his line and Gonacho ain't going to get on that. To be fair with you, though, even though Liverpool are a better side than Man United, you probably expected Man United with Salix Ferguson in the cart and the game and whatnot. And just because United, by their own standards, been embarrassing this season to start like this. But so far, well, curse of the commentator, I've been praising Kobe Maynard all game. That was a terrible, well, every watch along, that was a poor pass from him. But United, the Red Devils have started hot on the Lord Sunday. We got Podolski and Kozola. To be fair, Podolski against um Manchester against uh Podolski against Spurs in the North London Derby. Any goal, any celebration, North London Derby. Um I did like Alexis Sanchez's celebrations, mind you. So yeah, man. The knee slides. To be fair, all four as well when we won the league. So it was confirmed that White requested to be left out the English squad. He just don't F with Southgate, innit? New, the man said Newcastle. Liverpool ha could have been in here. Good defending by Man United. And it did look like one of Man United's players there. I think Lindelof was caught late. In the last couple of moments, Liverpool just showing Man United, listen, we can still trouble you. But if the game was based on the first six minutes and that was the first round of a fight, I'll give it Man United. Oh, no, no, to restart proceedings. I don't care what no one says. FA Cup's a big trophy, man. What about Giroud? Giroud, Giroud was. I I think Giroud. It's a weird one with Giroud at Arsenal because I think he. I think people overrate him because they look at it with rose tints and forget stuff. But I do think people downplayed him at the same time. I think Arsenal's issue is something that AC Milan, uh, France, and actually Chelsea when he went over there. What they learned from him that Giroud's a good player, but you can't make him the difference maker. And what I mean by that is you can't live or die by Giroud scoring goals. He can score goals. He's got a. I, he's got an immaculate catalogue. Like You could argue Giroud, if you just put his career highlights and actually his life, it's probably going to be a best-selling movie. I think it's up there with Ronaldo and, and Messi, if I'm honest with you, because, you know, Giroud's a fighter. He always reacts to setbacks. He wasn't rated by the French kind of media. He won the World Cup. You know, obviously becoming a pre becoming a French league winner with Montpellier, joining Arsenal, winning one two trophies, doing what he's done at AC Milan and obviously Chelsea. But we we wanted him to replace Van Persie. You look at him with France, and I'm not saying this to belittle him. I'm saying they used him correctly. He didn't score a goal in the World Cup. But anyone that watches football, Salah went close there. Just letting people know. Anyone that watches football, you cannot underestimate Giroud's influence. And as someone who's only five foot eight, and definitely not Griezmann and Mbappe and Dembele and that. Giroud's obviously for a big man. Giroud's got great feet, like he's lovely at the one twos. I remember Arsenal's goal against Norwich or something like that. Giroud's a lovely guy to play with because his game is not, he's not going to turn and obviously he's done it, but he's not going to turn and dribble past people. That's not him. His game's around one twos. So rather cynically, everybody does it in Sunday League. You pass it to a big fella, you know, you're getting the one two. He was never meant to be the main man. DG, well, go on with Henri. Why doesn't he? nominate Matthias Tell for France under 21s is criminal. I wish I knew, but he's a baller. Oh, Van Persie's goal against Charlton, that was a banger. But celebration, I'm not too sure if that's my favourite one. To be fair, Torreira in the North London derby was lit. We are nine minutes into this clash, people. I do think the game's becoming a bit even now. Game looks a bit settled. Liverpool could be in here, not with a first touch like that from Luis Diaz. With a player of his quality, should be doing a lot better. United trying to break. I thought McTominay was fouled there. Ref reckons so as well. Even clash so far. Who's slower, Jorginho or Giroud? I reckon Jorginho, you know. Because to be fair with you, as slow as Giroud is, not to belittle Jorginho, uh, when Giroud gets in stride, he's all right. Ganacho, big save by Kelly. It's 1-0 Manchester United. It is 1-0 Manchester United and it must mean a bit more to Sir Alex Ferguson because Scott McTominay, a fellow Scotsman, has bagged. And to be honest with you, on the run of things, Man United slide deserved that. They've started a tiny bit better than Liverpool. But it's game on though. And if anyone can come back from the dead, only Real Madrid, in my opinion, could say they're better at that stuff than Liverpool. But for us as neutrals... Great stuff. To be fair, Rashford did very well. Liverpool's defender's not tight enough. He's glid past one. He's glid... Young Kwanzaa's not been strong enough there. 
Bruno Fernandes and Rashford have started replayed stuff. Ganacho's gone for the shot. The keeper's made the save. Is it a poor save? I think that would be a bit harsh to say that on the Liverpool number two. Is it harsh? I don't know. Either way, it's fizzled up. And McTominay just wanted it more. He just wanted it more. And United deserve that. They've caught Liverpool cold so far. And this just makes it a very interesting clash. If we haven't smashed the like button, make sure you do such. You hear Saliba might go Olympics. I mean, for any sportsman, and it sounds dumb, but it feels like when people talk about footballers, we forget they're athletes. And obviously, as a footballer, you want to win leagues, win Champions League, win World Cup, all these things. But to be an athlete in whatever discipline you play in, yeah, it's an honour to be at the Olympics. So I would never say no, but for every rumour that you're, like you said there, that he might go Olympics, there's rumours online that Arsenal and France are saying, forget all of that. Can't say that goal wasn't coming. They've been good so far. You know, they deserve that goal. They deserve it. But Liverpool's a team you've got to kill. It's not enough to batter and bruise them. You've got to kill them. You've got to pull it beyond reasonable doubt. That's a good ball forward. I can't lie. Liverpool, I, this is an un-Liverpool-like performance so far, you know. Man United just got more of a spring in their step, just look sharper. Wamba Saka, how many times have I said he's flying forward? And here he is in behind again, Bruno Fernandes. Is he going to put the cross in? Doesn't elect to do that. Finds Colby Mayno. I keep saying it. This guy is a baller, man. You must have played for Arsenal as an academy grad, man. There's no way that you come through this. And he's done well there. Wamba Saka, Mayno, young Mayno, tries to play a 1-2 with Hoysland. The lot's on the case. It could be 2-0 here. Ganacho, brilliant defending. Brilliant defending there from Kwanzaa there. Brilliant. From Kwanzaa and also Robertson. Well, Kwanzaa didn't cut across. Robertson also obviously made it. Liverpool at sixes and sevens. Their shape is horrible, if I'm completely honest with you. It's horrible. And it's notoriously known that, you know, the Man United pitch is massive. You've got to have shape. Ten Hag out there with the suit. Every dog has their day. Ties a bit done to the left, but yeah. Yeah, Mertesacker was a slow footballer. But I think Mertesacker, within Arsenal fans, he's disrespected because he was actually a good player for us, man. All the guards got the North London derby. It is 1-0 to Manchester United. I got mad love for Jorginho, but he's the slowest player I've ever seen. Slowest, slowest players I've seen. That's a bit of a difficult one. Slowest. At my football club, Giroud, Jorginho, Mertesacker, 100%. I would say Lacazette towards the end of his Arsenal career as well. He looked like he couldn't run. Big up American Gunner, my CEO. People ask why I don't play football and I tell them I have the pace of Mertesacker and the first touch of Lukaku. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Kwanzaa goes back to his keeper. Kelly, you're going to get in trouble there. You've gone long. That, you, boy. And I'm not going to lie. I rate Shabozla, but surely the light's got to be on Shabozla in games like this. And surely, surely the jury's still got to be out. And Liverpool, as soon as they have the ball, they lose it. Marcus Rashford needs support, to be fair. Done very well to hold the ball up there. Bruno Fernandes, young Kobe Maino. There's a late foul on Bruno. The ref has said, Oi! Kobe Maino, that's rude. Eee! It didn't come to anything and I could not, I can't describe what skill that was, but it did some lovely bit of skill. And Liverpool could be on the counter-attack here. Shabozla, the lights are the lights are bright, you know, the lights are bright. Robertson, fullback union, finds Diaz. Diaz back to Robertson. Oh, if Robertson hits the target, you don't know what could have happened there. Unfortunately, it hasn't been the case. You cannot make the mistake of saying Liverpool are out of this tie, especially as the game's becoming a bit more end-to-end. -end. Liverpool can definitely punish Manchester United. But Man United have been better. They've been a sharp better. And they've been a that like, they've been speed, they've been quicker in terms of their speed of thought. They look more threatening in the final third, especially with players you wouldn't actually accredit that to. And they've just been better. United get another go and set up shop. Lacazette was cooked when he left. He couldn't sprint. Saeed calls his match streams hate along. I hear it. Mayno's a baller, man. It's just obviously, you know, fans are going to overrate him in a sense of the same people that say he's the next this, that, the other. When he has that, because it happens to all footballers, that slow bit of form, they're going to turn on him. You know, a football career isn't like that. Right now, he's a revelation. Even me, everything you do is wow. Soon you're going to ultimately have to sink or swim by the expectations. And the thing... The most amazing thing I will give Kobe Mayno, and I'd say the same with Foden, the same with Bukayo Saka and young players of that ilk, they're exceptions rather than the rule because they just look like they're built for this. And the thing I like about Mayno, we could talk about his technical ability, his balance, his dribbling, his intelligence, his IQ, his ability to make the right decision. That is all irrelevant if you don't have the temperament. 
and he's got the temperament. I'm sure he's a human being. He's a young 18-year-old lad. I'm sure there's been times where he's been nervous and, and whatnot, but he doesn't show it. And I can't lie, Liverpool, in my opinion, they're going to need to buy another attacker, man. This Darwin Nunes, Luis and Jota, whoever, this, this is not going to replicate what Mane, Firmino and them, man, were doing. Ganacho's had his heels clipped there. Probably a bit of frustration from McAllister. He's made a foul because he's lost it. <laughs> yeah, big up my guy Matisse, man. But it is lovely to see rivals egg on faces. But, yeah. Have you seen the video of Lacazette having a go at the youth player and Cedric having the young lads back? That's why I'll take keep Cedric around. I think we're getting two and two and getting a million, but I hear it and I have seen it. And Lacazette, you know, you're praying on the week with the greatest of respect to, to uh, Francis, the young fullback. Like, it is what it is. But again, at the same time, pardon me, obviously that's one of the rare incidences that have been clipped. But, and I'm not saying you, Tom, or anyone, but anyone who thinks these footballers don't like fighting in the training ground or in the dressing room, if these things are not frequent, I don't know where they've been. It's like when Tobias and Eddie and Ketia were having a go at each other. This is football. This is what happens. Bruno Fernandes delivers. That's a good knock. <sighs> Probably a bit too much zing on that. Liverpool's midfield is a problem for them. They need another six. Big up Endo, but yeah. I like Ramsey's FA Cup. Final winner, man said this is our house at Wembley and he ain't been very wrong since. True, that was, and I was at the I was at that game. Out of all the games I've gone to, there's definitely been games I've been more nervy, but out of all the games I've been to, yeah, Arsenal versus Hull in the FA Cup final, that one there, I've never been through so many different emotions. As I've said before, obviously, I had to do the bookie thing. I was in the whole section with my nephew. Got there now after, like, I should get my nephew on the stream. Do you know how much we had to go through to even get to Wembley? So much things were going wrong. We had to go back home, doing bare things. Finally get there now. Barely sat down with two goals down. These lot are chanting, say, old Arsenal, who always cheating. Whole fans are, are, are fighting each other and that. And that's why I'll always love Santi Cazola because I saw the wonderful Spaniard doing that with his teammates and then the rest is history. Liverpool could have been in here. I can't lie. We asked for a fantastic game for the neutrals and we're getting such... Shabozla sent someone for a bagel and Joe Gomez showing why he actually hasn't scored in a Liverpool shirt and why he's made a career as a defender rather than an attacker as he's booted it way over. Rashford got sent to the shops, probably still sliding at this moment in time. Then Shabozla laid it into the path of Gomez. I know there's certain fullbacks that could hit them kind of shots first time and hit the target and score. But Gomez ain't one of them. And to be fair, for, for every time I spin that same goal, there's a million times that... That's happened. Leeds United are built beating Millwall 1 0. I mean, big up Brooke Norton Coffee because he's on low at, at Millwall, but for obvious reasons, I ain't got much love for, for Leeds United, man. I am my uncle still. Two nieces and a nephew. Also, the overlap interview with Oli, and he says the board didn't want to sign Harlem, Rice, and Bellingham when they were very young. Well, United are paying for that, innit? Who knows? Who knows if Bellingham. If these guys signed and they, you know, Bellingham would have went to higher heights, Harlem, who knows how they would have figured in the United shirt. But had United got them players, who knows what would have happened. McAllister in possession here, galloping forward. Luis Diaz. Diaz, back to Robertson, back to Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz, is, I think he's a quality player. But again, if I was a Liverpool fan, he would definitely be one of the most frustrating players in the ranks. Diaz. And that's why losing the ball unnecessarily. Good bravery by Maino. That's not a foul ref. Play on. You didn't get foul, Gomez. And Man United have won it back. It is getting a bit scrappy now. It's been a good 19, let's say 20 minutes and stop acting. But it's getting a bit scrappy. Rashford down this left-hand side, up against Endo. Rashford has to get his head up. Surely he's been fouled there. If Rashford don't get a free kick there, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Oh, God. Rad, don't get twisted. Rashford was looking for it. But I think he's. there's been a tug of the shirt there. If Oli was telling the truth, he should be a scout, not a manager. I believe Oli because what's that other guy that was at United? He weren't the manager like that. He was just there for a sec. And he was so honest with everything to the point where my United fans must have questioned, did he even want to be in the job? Ralph Ranyuk, he was basically saying the same thing. I was saying, get this, do that, do this, do that. People not listening. So can't really be surprised if this is what happens. Nunes is like Morata, does everything but finish. But like Giroud, they'll age like fine wine. I mean, with De Luis Diaz, he's, as I said, Lu Diaz would be, Darwin Nunes, sorry, would be frustrating. Diaz is the most frustrating Liverpool player I look at. 
Darwin Nunez is frustrating, but he's like, I don't know that he's an enigma. There's no way of describing him because I think you're good, but then I think you're crap. Like you, you just look so raw, but then you would always play for me if I was Jurgen Klopp. There's something, there's there's something likable about him. Liverpool have been passing the ball to Mo Salah like they hate him. You know, it's it's an applaud from Salah of 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 his teammates' appreciation trying to find him, but the application was horrible. He had no chance of bringing that under. Plays restarted. Rafael Varane does well to find Lindelof. Lindelof, Rashford. McTominay, I can't lie, Ten Hag's got his tactics spot on, even the areas that Wamba Saka and Lindelof are taking up. McTominay, that was terrible there, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, Ranjik, man. DG, thoughts on Southgate's treatment of Ben White, clearly trying to protect his mate, Steve Holland. Ah, it's one way you want to know the truth, really and truly, man. Like, there's three sides to every story, in it? There's what Benjamin's saying, there's what England are saying, and there's the cold-hearted truth. I don't think everyone's got their hands clean. I have to be fair to Southgate. He has taken Benjamin White to a World Cup and to a Euros, but I do think it's a bit of protecting his mate. At the same time, while I think if you've got an opportunity to play for your country, you should always do it, I can understand why Ben White's saying, you know, F that, you don't really rate me anyways. And I think England have a good chance of winning the Euros. But where you look at the defence, it's, it, it's left wanted a bit more. To be fair, Harry Maguire normally turns up and Stones is great, but the centre-back pairings are poor. You know, Benjamin White isn't going to get ahead of what well, he might instead of Trent. Trent's better than him, but I don't think Southgate, Southgate's quite risk-averse. I don't think he will bet on the pros of Trent to the cons, but you're going to be behind Kyle Walker. You're going to be behind um, a fit Rhys James, if that's even a thing. And I don't agree with it, but Trippier. But then there's a lot of versatility. I was having this talk with my friends. I think as much as I'm talking about centre-half, I was having this talk at football today. What does he do in midfield? Because I would say you could put Foden in the 10. Bellingham, especially, you know what? This new Bellingham that he's being played at Real Madrid could be interesting for Southgate, even though he won't do it. But I was saying Bellingham, Rice and Foden. And my friend was saying Foden's not a 10 or 8. I'm like, what are you talking about? But then I hear it because he doesn't really play there. Then I said, well, what couldn't you do a thing of, all right, if you're not going to put Grealish in the 10, you're not going to put Foden in the 10. Could you take what um, Pep Guardiola does with Stones? You put Stones in midfield. You've got a Bellingham slash Rice. You've got Bellingham, better yet, Stones, Bellingham and Rice all in midfield together. But then the conundrum comes where who the hell plays in defence? Maguire's the first one and who else? I'm not too sure. But I think England, you know, fullback, there's some good options. Left back, probably a bit weaker. Up front and all the final third, there's some tasty options there. But I think centre-half. Bruno Fernandes to take this free kick. Keep your thoughts coming, man. It's lovely from you lot. Bruno Fernandes to take this. What's going on? Mm, do you know what? If that was a bit a bit lower, I hear it. If I'm Bruno Fernandes, I'm lying that I tried to cross it. But truthfully, I think he's tried to go for goal there. Ben White playing left back for England. Ugh. Joe Gomez has got to be a candidate, really, based on how he's been deployed at Liverpool and he's in the England side. I'm not saying I agree with it, but yeah. Who have they really got at left back? Chilwell's there. Obviously, I'm putting myself on the spot, but, you know, Luke Shaw, but he's not fit. And I don't know if he's going to be fit. Speaking of fullbacks, the lot for Manchester United. Oh, Wamba put. Oh, Wamba Saka. Hey, what videos was he watching today? Dropping shoulders and the rest of it. I must admit, I couldn't tell you what Ten Hag's doing, but I do think the way he's got his back line manoeuvring is something Liverpool didn't play for. You're seeing Lindelof kind of play centre back and going, going left back um, in certain phases of play. The lot's inverting. Wan-Bissaka's getting in behind. I think, I, do you know what? I think Ten Hag's doing quite well in that regards, man. Don't sleep on Gurhi. I think he's decent. I rate him more than Tomori, if I'm honest with you. But then again, international football's a different ball game. And I think anyone who thinks Southgate doesn't know, I would say 22, 20, 21, 22 of the 23-man squad he's taken to the Euros is on something, you know, if you don't know how you want to play the team you want to bring out there in March where you're playing in June, it's, it's probably a fallacy. And he's obviously it's a mixture of people turning down call-ups, probably not what maybe not being fit. But you look through Southgate squad that he's called up today, it's very experimental really and truly. Well, I say today, this week, you know, you've got Braithwaite there, you've got Gordon there, probably just wants to take a look at these players. United are playing like they got 12 men. Psh, that's how they should be playing. Trent should be right back, then Stones and Tomori at centre-back. I'm not going to lie. I'd bet on Kyle Walker because international football is a different game. I do think there's scope for Trent in the squad, but I would rather, you know, like, I I, I think Trent, Trent versus Walker, like, 
Walker in the nice race, probably sixes and sevens out of 10 of all the individual aspects. So he's more all rounded. Trent's going to score a lot lower, but what Trent is great at, good at, he's great at. But I would just put, I would lean towards Walker if I'm honest with you. Because I just think international football is a different ball game. It's all fun and games having all these great attackers and all these things, but there's a psychological aspect. you got to remember as well, and this is why people are vexed at Southgate is, sorry, but Darwin Nunes could be in. It's not like club football. You're not training with these players week in, week out. You're, the majority of Southgate's time is scouting opposition, scouting players, seeing emerging talents and whatnot. That's why I think he's named that squad. White knows Southgate's time is ticking. He'll get his chance down the line. Deluded, what do you make of the Bellingham hype and people disrespecting Vinny? I don't know anyone personally. I don't know for the Vinicius Jr. disrespect because the man's an absolute baller. Bellingham deserves his hype. I do think... People need to, like, I, I just think in football, it's a bit like, it's not the same, but it's like us with Kai Havertz. It's like, scoring is great and put making a difference, but are they playing well in 90 minutes? And if they necessarily play well one day and not score, are you going to actually watch the game? So corner kick to Liverpool she hasn't come to anything. I wouldn't say Liverpool are out the game, but I wouldn't necessarily say they're in it. But Liverpool can score goals at any given time, but they need to act like it. Joe Gomez, poor from him. Somehow it's here with Diaz. Well, the offside flag's come up. Pardon me, agree, DG. Ben inverting from right back next to Decker. Saka folding and White on that right channel would be fire. Even if Benjamin White got called up, he ain't even going to do that. Like You're just going to be filling a number. I do think with it not being a 25-26 man squad and it being a 23 man squad, you're going to have to use some players more. But it's just like going on a school trip, man. I've been trying to tell DG about Tomori and he doesn't rate him because he doesn't play in the Prem. It's nothing to do with not rating him. I think Tomori's a good defender. I just think he's overrated. I don't see the hype with Tomori. I'll hold my hands up and say I'm wrong. Man United are attacking. Is it about to be 2-0? Oh, not with that. Not with that. Ramos Hoisland, somebody sniped him. He lost his foot. He needs to change his boots, man. West Ham are beating Aston Villa 2-1. Damn, Emery bottling. I'm going to be honest, Tomori is poor in the air. Tom, like, he's a good defender, but he's not the best in the air, not aggressive when enough, enough when he needs to. He's an okay reader of the game for me in comparison to some of his peers. I don't see... I know Southgate gets a lot of flank and he ain't called up this guy and that guy in the third, but I'm not really with the... To if Tomori should be in the squad because there isn't many, but uh, it's not really that, man. It's not really that. If I'm honest, Tamori and Stones, I, and I'd rather bet on Maguire, you know, just because that if you're going to do that, you need to do that a lot earlier. It should have been done in the qualifying campaigns. Darwin Nunes has tried to go for the shot. It's been blocked. Make sure you're following Talahua TV. What have you said here? Uh, that whole final was mad. Watched it in the pub outside Highbury and Islington Stadium and got flung in the air when Santi scored. <laughs> to be honest, Santi Cazola's goal was amazing. That was a crazy day, man. An absolute crazy day. And by the time we, we scored the second goal, the whole fans, some of them got ejected for fighting. And me and, my, me and my nephew, when we scored, obviously, there's too many whole fans about. We can't even celebrate too much. We're just tapping each other, pausing. We're like, oh, my God. One of the best days ever. And because I was looking at my phone and, you know, how many of my friends were banning me? Oh, DG, you spent all this money. You went over there. And look, they're not even winning trophies out and that. Bruno Fernandes has done quite well. He's found Marcus Rashford. You know what? Big up Rashford, but his decision-making is shaky. Today, it's been amazing. If I'm saying that about Marcus Rashford, you're not doing your job, Liverpool. The lot. Lindelof. Varane. Oh, Varane doing too much. You're not in the Champions League today, mate. You're not at Real Madrid. You're asking a lot of Rashford there. Braithwaite's lit. And I think Braithwaite's versatility is why he's big. I like Braithwaite. He's got a couple mistakes in him. He's a bit raw, but I like him, man. He did well on he did well on loan at PSV. He's done well at Everton. Like him a lot. Would like him at Arsenal. The problem with him is <sighs> football's gone crazy in terms of asking prices of footballers. So you could only imagine. Shout yourself, S. Appreciate that. Keeper should have done better on the Santi goal. Still a fantastic strike. Um, come on, man. Sometimes you just gotta give grace to the the quality of the player. Unless it's Almunia. Like the amount of great goals Messi and Ronaldo have. And they take nothing away from it. But I, when I watch their highlights, I discount it because Almunia's in goal. Almunia, you're, I don't know why. I, I, I hate you from a footballing sense, man. And England were in the trenches a lot more than they are now because I remember there were shouts in the papers of Almunia being called up to England. Crazy. Football's a funny old game of opinions. And I won't say Southgate doesn't rate Tamori, but you can't be that sold on Donny, in it, really and truly. Robertson delivers. Varane heads clear. It's falling to Shabozlai. I mean, oh, Nana's collected. Gomez can't chat to White. 
hundred percent he can't. Mm. Man United need to learn how to pass this game. Hand of God settings VAR checking West Ham goal. That's crazy. Didn't wasn't VAR already? Smash the like button on YouTube if you haven't already. Come on, we're acting, people. Uh, didn't they already? Di I'm not watching it, but wasn't uh, an Antonio goal disallowed? Oh, cynical tackle by McAllister. He's made a lot of them. Surely he's going to be booked. McAllister's been off the pace so far today. On the boy's been good. Off it, yeah, man. Chasing shadows. And to be fair, he's done watching the replay. He's done that intentionally. So yeah, he's taken one for the team. So yeah, man. Big up you lot. But yeah, I don't really, I don't really see the Tomori hype. I think he's a good player. Definitely think he's a good player. But and I think you know, with some of the people who get called up for England, fair enough. But mm, I, I think England centre half options are just far too weak. You can play Stones there. You can. There actually is a reality where Declan Rice could play there. I would like to actually see because I can't see Southgate putting Grealish or Folding in the ten. I would like to see a reality where Stones plays in midfield. But we're going over the same thing, is it? So yeah, man, big up you lot. Will you ever see Maino get double-digit goal assists? I don't think... I mean, naturally, you know, I'm sure he want to bring goals into his game, but Maino's one of them players for me. And obviously in the Prem, if you're not scoring and all that stuff, but you're not a goals and assists kind of guy. Like He's not Odegaard, and Odegaard's obviously been scoring, but on the basis of these lot give so much... And I'm not comparing them, but like they give so much to the team across 90 minutes. They're very cultured on the ball. They keep things ticking. Their IQ is very high. It's not a goals and assists thing for these kind of guys. Mohamed Salah, Darwin Nunes, that's a good touch. McAllister is falling all the way to Robertson. Diaz, what can he do? Hasn't got any change out of the lot so far. And there's a corner for his troubles, actually. <laughs> Danny Rose's goal is just the start of it if he was even in goal. It's 2006. It's Ronaldo scoring from like 40 yards. It's Messi embarrassing him. It's Almunia just had bare shaky moments. I'm not gonna lie, one of the poorest areas of Arsenal's uh team for years at the Emirates has been in goal. There's been part of my language so many shit guys, or Spina, Almunia, Runison, Matt Turner. Sorry, Matt Turner. So many obviously Ramsdale's good, but he's got them mistakes in him. When last did we have and this is where I hope Raya could do it? Like, when last did we have a keeper? Like, yeah, you're sorry. Had numerous rubbish keepers at this club, man. Chesney was good, but again, Chesney's brain was crazy. Like, boys, oh my days. Oh my, you know, this is your making. Chesney, like, do you know how much, do you know how annoying Chesney must have been for Arsene Wenger to give up on you, you know? Do you know how, do you know how much patience someone like Arsene Wenger has? Chesney was good, but he, uh, he, weren't, he weren't all right upstairs, man. He weren't all right upstairs. Arsenal fans used to gaslight me to pretend Ospina was good. Onana's oh, found Lindelof. Lindelof. Who I'm sure he wants to win this competition after, you know, what happened in the final. Raya has already saved three pens. Big him up for that. Fabianski was solid. Nah, we Towards the end of his Arsenal career, literally he was, but Fabianski was not solid. Fabianski had enough shaky moments as well. Like, oh, the lot. That's a ball if it gets to Wambasaka. Played from fullback to fullback. Us fullbacks are the most important on the football pitch. Haters will disagree. You know, I don't see centre backs inverting, eh? Varane, may no arts is free. Oh, probably a bit ambitious to expect your teammate to play it to you there. Lindelof, Varane. Now Mayno could have it. Finds Onana. And I don't think Onana's the greatest keeper in the world, but I think if Man United's team structure was a lot better, you wouldn't see the mistakes you see. Mayno has found Bruno, Bruno to Varane. Bruno Fernandez, he's been good today so far. He's found Juan Bissaka. Throw into Man United. Hey, 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 hey. I, I, I stopped myself, man. I stopped myself immediately. Who was worse, Renison or Turner? Renison. Renison is easily the worst keeper I've seen. Leno was okay. Leno had some crazy moments, but he, he was all right. There was a lot of the time where Leno made a lot of mistakes, but we would get battered like three, four, five, exaggeration, and you'd, you'd have some sort of sympathy for Leno. Leno weren't terrible. I don't even think Petr Cech was terrible. He was obviously Buki, but they were two of the better keepers in the Emirates era. Bruno Fernandes goes for the shot. Okay, big save. So, yeah, man. Turner, Turner's just not a, an Arsenal standard keeper, to be fair. He's not Nottingham Forest at this moment in time, but uh, Turner's that you actually behave like a goalie. Renison just looks like a, a secondary school kid. He's moved to a new school and he's got no friends. Like, you know, when you could just, I don't, oh, 
Ooh, Mano twinkle tolls. He's found Rashford. Sorry, folks. Rashford squared. It should be 2 0. Oh, McTominay. Could he finish better there? Probably could have, would have, should have. It should be 2 0 to Manchester United. Fantastic play. And I can't lie, again, I would love to be a fly on the wall in the team talks. But it just looks like Man United are specifically trying to target that left hand side slash Liverpool's right. Every time they get in behind there, Joe Gomez looks uncomfortable and just about anyone else. Colby Maynard's got in behind. Rashford's got in behind. Darwin Nunes with a great run for Liverpool. Can they draw themselves back in the game? Darwin Nunes, he's gone for the shot. He's gone out for a throw. There's a player in you, man. But you're just needy, man. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what my man's saying here, but okay. Don't spam, please. Martinez, Emmy Martinez, he took a while. Martinez is one of the better keepers at the Emirates, 100%. Emmy Martinez is. You know, be best keepers or not not necessarily best keepers. I'd say Emmy Martinez. Obviously, it took him a while to be rated like that. But Martinez, I think Raya by default. I actually think Ramsdale by default. I think Leno was one of them. Not better than these lot, but Leno was there. I think Czech had dodgy moments, but he was up there. But yeah, Runison, the, Runison might actually be the worst. You know, like, I, I think on Ospina's way better than you. At least I've seen how Munio make some saves. It should be 2 0 to Manchester United, by the way, folks. And the only criticism I would say for Man United, you probably want to get a couple more goals before half time, just because at 1 0, there's something to salvage. I mean, is it a thing, you know, does playing on Thursday affect Liverpool? I don't know. Mohamed Salah to end up. Oh, this is why you need to score. Liverpool is a team you have to kill. They're hard to kill word to young spray and it's oh okay okay well great bit of defending by the linesman there it is not one one but that's a wake-up call for manchester united kind of is the point i've been making oh is that offside i don't know you know salah should have an assist i'm not sure i don't know i think they is gonna have to have a look at that i don't think it will i don't think that's offside and admittedly i don't know it all depends on the angles they're looking at and whatnot I don't think it's offside. I need to see that again. It'd be a bit of pill to swallow for Manchester United. Basically, not that long to go until the end of the half. I don't think that's offside, folks. Can we get to 100 likes? We've got 76. Endo is the one that pulled it in the back of the net. I don't think that's offside. I mean, Alex Ferguson's at the ground. You know Man United aren't going out like that. But play has stopped. Oh, a shoulder. Yeah, it is. Salah's shoulders offside. Wake up, cool. Endo's been one of the better signs, taking him a while. And I don't think he's been given a fair kind of ride from Liverpool fans or Arsenal fans, if I'm complete, or, or football fans. And I think what went against him, obviously, there was Caicedo shouts, Lavia shouts, this guy, that guy. And I do think Endo was a contingency plan. Low cost, not really the longevity in his legs like them, but he's done all right. And I do think people forget, like, you need to adapt. He's doing his thing. Really good purple patch from him at this moment. wan -Bissaka wins the header. So far, wan has pocketed Salah. Darwin Nunes tries to run on Nana. That's come off his line. I mean, Salah could have had an assist if, if, if VAR didn't get involved. Ain't really said. He's been kept really quiet. Darwin Nunes, not really ineffective. I say of the front three, Luis Diaz looks like the one that he's been the one causing United, quote unquote, troubles. And I think that's even overstating it. So far, what Man United are doing is working. They're keeping Liverpool's attackers quiet, but it's easier said than done. And as you look, all know, things can change in the blink of an instant, folks. So as I was saying, you know, if you're a United fan, you probably want to get another one. And considering the fact that United had a great chance with McTominay to get a second and then there's been a goal ruled out. Oh, Nana is bugging out. It's an offside one, exactly. This is why they need to score. Oh, Nana's blush is spared. That, he's had a solid game up until that moment. It's a bit uncharacteristic from him to punch it like that. The hell? It must have bubbled or something. Boy, I don't think Liverpool are out of this. But you can't, right? You can't look past Man United. I actually feel even the most toughest of Manchester United critic this, this season. They've been good value for money for 39 minutes. Only thing, only worried about Raya is how short he is. Ah, just make the saves, man. Glitching the matrix there. Nunes has really great strengths, but really obvious flaws. 
He just Banduli, man. Just absolutely Banduli. Just don't know what he's on. Who the hell is that, man? Like, what the hell is that? Safe, man. Spamming. Don't forget Matt, R Matt Ryan. Defo won some kind of competition. Matt Ryan, for his little time at Arsenal, he was all right. But I'd say Runners in the worst. You just never look like, You should never write off a player. But I'm sure I did a watch along for it. I think it was Man City versus Arsenal in the League Cup. Took one look at Renison, like, yeah, you're not it. You could, I could just see in your eyes. I could smell you as a pussycat. You're not built for this. Your kit wasn't even fitting as well. Garnacho aims to switch play. Rashford in possession. Five minutes left of this first half. Marcus Rashford delivers, headed out by Kwanzaa. Marcus Rashford wins the second header. Surely that's... Okay, it's a goal kick. Boy. I said, the rest DG to the Tottenham yard where he'd be turned into a wing back. Wouldn't mind that, actually. You know, as a fullback, any less defensive responsibility is amazing stuff. Turner was solid. Really? Really? Turner was a calm keeper, a loyal servant, humble servant. But we don't need to. I, I'm not saying you, but Arsenal fans like to pretend that Dons were good. I can't lie. I don't think Leno was better than Ramsdale. If I'm honest, how's the first half looking? So far, so good from United. Obviously, towards the end of the half, there's been not even shaky moments, but I think United have been good, man. You've attacked well, particularly down, you know, your left-hand side there, right? You've got the goal. You look a touch sharper as well. I don't know if Liverpool playing in the Europa League has any effect on that, if they did play last week, but you just look sharp with value for money. It's a performance Manchester United should be putting in. We got DG in the nation. DG, you can sign one player in the summer. Verts or Musiala, who you choosing and why? Verts is sick and he's come a long way from his injury and <sighs> Musiala. Because there's been many times when I used to watch England youth, him and Jude Bellingham just used to tear teams apart. And I think Kwanzaa actually played in the same youth youth team as Bellingham and, and these guys he's playing at the moment. I just think Musiala's Verts as well, but I just think Musiala, he, he, he's a great blank canvas for Mikel Arteta to work with. He can play in the tight spaces, he's clearly intelligent, clearly the temperament's good. Another one that I feel is like Saka, Foden, Mayno, where the temperament is just there, plays in the pockets. Yeah, man, I, I, you could say the same about Verts, the same is said for Verts, but yeah, Musiala different. The guy that used to be at St. Etienne. Mm, he's all right. He's all right. I think he's left there. He's at Leipzig or Salzburg or something. Got a good engine. Frankie de Jong would be lit for Arsenal. And it is a fairly open game. Now, Ramsdale performed a level above Leno. Let's not rewrite history. Amen. Turner was more of a third choice. Amen. And help us sell some shirts in America. Robertson. Shabozlai. Back to Robertson. Robertson's cross cut out. Not going to lie. Shabozlai's a good player, but he's looking really funny under the lights at the moment. If you're not scoring from 30 yards and that is looking a bit fugazi, two minutes left of the first half, probably a couple of minutes of added on time naturally, folks. Hasn't been too, there hasn't really, there hasn't really been any stoppages, but the VAR stuff. Diaz, Endo, Van Dijk. Boy, Van Dijk ain't looked the same since he bucked into a couple, man. Kwanzaa. I wonder if he'll be at Liverpool in the next few years. This is a great run from the Liverpool centre-half. He's actually done well to square it. Darren Nunes, that's a good ball. McAllister. Oi! That is fantastic play by Liverpool. Kwanzaa take a bow. That was Rio Ferdinand S, the way he galloped forward. Darwin Nunes deserves a pat on the back because his decision-making was good. And that's the thing about Darwin Nunes. This is why I said I don't know if you're good or bad. There's something I like about you. You're just you're unpredictable. This is the only thing Man United have done poorly. They've switched off just before half time. You can't afford to do that. It's too easy. Kwanzaa's galloped forward. Darwin Nunes has set it to McAllister. And the South Americans have linked up and got Liverpool back in the game. A bit of a deflection by Mayno as well. But I don't think Liverpool care. It's now officially 1 1. And it's going to be a big half time for both teams. You know, I do think personally, Ten Hag has to urge calmness. You know, United have been doing the right things. They just switched off. Klopp, you need to do that Anfield hype and all of that stuff Liverpool are, are that comes accustomed to. And it's a good game for us neutrals. 10 more likes until we have 100, folks. It's a good game so far. United ain't good enough. Not sure Onana shouldn't get beat there. To be fair, I agree. But it's taking a deflection of young Maynard and that's probably taking it off course. You're a madman. That comment's crazy. Turner versus Hein. Who's better? Turner. 
I don't really kept Kyle Hine too tough. I want to be wrong, but show me you're not it. Like, your role at Arsenal right now, this is your thing. We're into added on time, folks. Four minutes. Four, two to three, fair enough. Only thing I cared about Turner is making money. Thank you, Turner. Never really started and was below average at best, but was never going to compete with Ramsdale. Amen. Ball into the box. And I wonder how Scott McTominay feels. He has bagged, but he could have made it 2-0. wan -Bissaka. Now it's looking like the wan -Bissaka we're accustomed to. United need to keep their heads. Big up, deluded. Who would you rather win the game? Honestly, don't care. Actually, don't, don't really care. Like, whoever wins, wins. I guess, you know, if you care about the Premier League and all of that, more games for Liverpool, the better. But it's one where, respectfully to both clubs, wish both teams would lose. Joe Gomez galloping forward. You ain't quite got the drip Kwanzaa has. Yeah, you know, there's only one light-skinned defender that can gallop forward like that. Bruno Fernandes has done poor. And Liverpool got the bit between their teeth. I can't lie. This is probably the poorest sort of exchange from United. They need to calm down. They're giving the ball away very cheaply need to calm down forgive themselves for conceding you've conceded it's happened now relax my 3-1 prediction lives big up broski hope you man win the prem this season t appreciate that but you're a united fan don't support us don't support us don't support what well, to be fair you got city and liverpool by default this must be the worst season ever for united like we were arsenal previous rivals obviously strong history with liverpool City, new kids on the block, respectfully to City. But, you know, since the mid-2000s now, you're kind of like this. If you told me in primary school that, respectfully to City, the same team that I've seen Danny Mills get spun by Omri with was going to do what they're doing, I'd have called you a liar. Liverpool could be in here again. Luis Diaz squares it to Darwin Nunes. I think he killed Nunes there. Nunes has done well. Oh, Salah, uh, United is peak. Is he on... Oh, is, is it offside? I don't know. Salah's, Salah's celebration is looking brazy. As I said... It looked like Man United need to... I never lied to you, look. This thing should not be free. I told you, look, these men need to calm down. They haven't calmed down since Liverpool have got back in the game. United have been giving the ball away cheaply and they've engineered that mistake themselves. Bruno Fernandes has been barged off the ball and rather than try and deal with the threat that Liverpool are posing, people are at sixes and sevens. To be fair, it's, on, uh, uh, it's a bit harsh to blame on Nano. It's a bit harsh. Darwin Nunes has forced a save. Yeah, you could say he could have pulled it in the air. He shouldn't, but he's one of the only Man United players effing standing up to be counted. That was farcical for Manchester United. And, you know, the water, you know, water's wet. Mohamed Salah bags. Like, this is what Salah does. Was it a foul by Bruno Fernandes? May, uh, on Bruno Fernandes? Maybe. But you're told in Sunday League to play to the whistle. Bruno Fernandes and Cole are stuck there. Like, it's in a dangerous area. You're on the floor doing all of this. To be fair, VAR's having a look. I think they, I, I think Liverpool might, might not get that one. If I'm honest with you, I don't think Liverpool are going to get that. It's two one on paper, and I think Salah kind of pausing to celebrate. He looked a bit guilty. Salah Ferguson's going to have to fork some more cash at. I don't think Liverpool are going to get that personally. Bruno Fernandes has been given a yellow card, probably his reaction. I don't think that's going to stand. Honestly, I don't think that goal is going to stand. I really don't think Salah's goal is going to stand. What do, what do I know? What do I know? It has stood. Liverpool, and they've really and truly, Liverpool have been second best in this first half, but they're winning 2-1. They've been more clinical. And to be honest with you, it's cup football. It don't matter how you do it, you just need to go through. But, you know, Salah scoring on, you know, the dying embers of the first half has flipped this tie on its head. I think Man United probably wish McTominay bagged his second. And I think they've fallen into old habits. I don't think they've reacted. I don't think United reacted well enough to Liverpool equalising, as you've seen. Never a foul DG pure strength from Gomez. I hear it. It goes either way. In it Sunday league, you're not getting that. You can't let Liverpool off the hook. We missed chances in the cup against them and United could have gone two up. Exactly. Liverpool team, you got to kill. For the last few times against Liverpool, well, not at the Emirates, but we saw it at Anfield last year. In my opinion, we saw it this year. You have to kill Liverpool. Liverpool's like a villain in a movie. Like, you, you, you know, it's like a two-part movie. You kill them, you think the world's been saved. And then at the end of the trailers, you just see the, the evil guy wake up. Liverpool love this stuff. We've seen it numerous times. And again, I think it's become, well, Liverpool getting back in the game when they've not been amazing. United kind of engineering their own downfall. I think the mental aspect, people underrate this aspect in football. And I think it's, to, it, it's playing a part in this. 
And look, look, you can hear Klopp saying, yo, just relax. And this is why I don't envy football managers. Like, do you know how much stress Dons go through? How Klopp still has hair or Teta as well? I don't know. Look how much the game's changed and whatnot. And for both these teams, they probably had different notes. Ooh, Ten Hag, you could be in trouble. Klopp's doing his jogging down the tunnel thing. McTominay's opener has been cancelled out between a fantastic strike from McAllister and obviously Salah has put Liverpool in front. Shabazz, like, if I'm McAllister, I'm not listening to Shabazz there because you're not doing nothing. Based on what we've seen this season, that should have been cancelled. You've seen, you've seen that happen for less. But it ain't. I don't think United are out of it, but they're going to have to get themselves back in it. And this is where it's a test because obviously Man United need to bag. Sorry, the time is still going. Man United need to bag to get something out of this game. The more they're pouring forward, the more Liverpool are just going to exploit the spaces left. Two quick fire goals. A lack of game management. And I actually feel it's from Manchester United's more experienced players. I feel, you know, from a Liverpool perspective, it's great play from Darwin Nunes. Kwanzaa is a great run, but it's too easy for them to engineer that. The second goal is terrible. And where would life have been, you know, had Liverpool had three goals? Because they've had a goal disallowed. Two goals in basically two minutes, really. McAllister scored in the 44th. Salah's bagged in added on time of the first half. This has flipped the tire on its head, folks. Uh, at half time, Liverpool have had 10 shots, six on target. The home side, Manchester United, have had 11 shots, seven on target. It's 60 40 in Liverpool's favour in terms of possession. There's only been three corners today, which Liverpool have had two, United have had one. I think it's a very even game, and I do think the statistics reflect that. Manchester United have played 188 passes, Liverpool have played 267. So it's all up for grabs, really and truly, isn't it? Wolves are better than United these days. Normal guy, hope you're doing well and safe. Ten Hag out, we folded like an informant. To be fair with you, you know, I understand the Ten Hag shouts to leave. But can you really blame him for where Liverpool are at this moment in time? I don't think you can blame the manager. I think the manager's actually, like, and I'm not here to defend Ten Hag. I think isolated to that 45 minutes. I think from what I believe I've seen from a tactical point of view, I think he's coached the team to go out there. And I think they started well. I just think, obviously... The football's a game of fine margins and whatnot. And Scott McTominay probably should have bagged. There was a couple half chances United could have done better at. But I don't think you can blame Ten Hag for not only the quick fire goals Liverpool just scored, but the manner in which they scored. Surely that's down to the players. And I'm not saying players' names to catch them out here, but Marcus Rashford is extremely experienced. Bruno Fernandes, Wamba Saka, Onana, Lindelof. Did, you know, if it, Colby may not cool. But there's experienced brothers out there. Garnacho and Colby Mayno, probably the ones you say, all right, cool, you lot are kind of babies. There's experienced players out there. Even when the first goal was disallowed, you know, when, when Liverpool... I'm not going to lie, I can't remember who put it in the back of the net. I, can't, I think Endo, yeah, Endo, after Salah set him up. Alarm bell should have went with United. OK, let's wake up, see this half out. It didn't. The first goal is horrible, you know. Lovely from a Liverpool perspective, horrible. The second goal somehow even worse. Because there were several phases. Game on. But there goes my 2-1 Man United shout out the window, isn't it, really? What do I know? This is woeful from United. Bro, DG and Oli team will put up a better fight than this. Ultimately, the manager's got to take responsibility, in it? But I just think they've 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 allowed... A, like, Liverpool have been poor by their own standards and they've allowed them to get something. I guess Liverpool are more street smart. And I just... I can't blame Ten Hag. I don't believe it's... Obviously, everything's a reflection of the manager, as I said, but... I don't think you can blame Ten Hag for them goals conceded. I don't get, like, my opinion don't mean anything. I don't care about Ten Hag. I'm I support Arsenal. But yeah, you'll go nowhere with players like McTominay, Bruno and Rashford in your team. May no play in that left side all by himself out of possession. Goals aside, McTominay's sus. He has this ability to score goals, but he is quite an average player. And there's nothing wrong with being an average player. There's many players that have won stuff with Liverpool, with Arsenal, with City, with Manchester United. That have been stars, but there's also been average ones. There's Spurs ones as well. No, I'm chatting, man. There's definitely not. When last you see Spurs win something, to be fair, that Spurs had a great achievement. They won the league in September. Don't Shaqua and all them up to Joes and all that. Don't think I didn't see you lot comparing Spurs, that Spurs team at that in that particular month to the Invincibles. Relax. My United fans should hope we win. If you want City to win again, your head's gone. Oh, Nana so bad that it's near post. I hear that. I remember I used to watch you last summer. What happened there? So what's going on? You better return, man. Make sure you subscribe, bro. Man United looked like us four or five years ago. They need a new manager and scouts. DG, do you want to win? I don't really care, man. 
off topic, but you were right about sorry, off topic, but DG, you were right about this. I see Meedy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Where's the snipping tool? Top blue, you're done out here, mate. I mean, I actually did a video on this. I see. I think he's a good defender, but where I don't think you're a good defender, I think you're a good physical defender. But you're not. Up, you're not got it upstairs. You're not got it upstairs. This, you know, obviously the own goal is comical, but you don't. You're very. I don't know the word, but he's a defender that will look good if he has to make a reaction. I don't think he's a smart one. Like he might make a great slide tackle and it's amazing. Everyone thinks he's it. But you want a defender that reads the game before it's even been required. That I just think he's someone that needs someone next to him, always talking to him. And anytime there's space, he's exposed. I'm gone for 10 minutes in Liverpool already, putting the screws to United. Bet United regret sacking Oli. Well, I would say with Manchester United, whatever you say about Ten Hag, Oli Gullisosha, Jose Mourinho, Louis van Gaal, David Moyes, there's been five managers in... Yeah, United have finished second. They've won a Europe and whatever, but they're not the Manchester United they should be. They're nowhere near Liverpool and City off the field, let alone on it. Surely owners and people that have been in charge have to take responsibility because, well, David Moyes is a good manager. Maybe, and he was someone that was always linked with that. Louis van Gaal and Jose need no introduction. Obviously, you could throw Ralph Ranić in that. The game plan was flawless. You have to blame these players. I don't know for flawless, but I, I think the manager's coached a good sort of way of going about this. I don't think, I think the players have shanked it. I think the players have shanked it. The manager made Mount a star sign and says, oh, he has to hold that. Salah didn't even celebrate. He's used to packing these guys, which is true, which is true. Salah looked like he's like, oh, we just had a goal ruled out for offside. I don't want to go against. See, even this, McAllister's goal, a minute before half time. That's terrible. It's great from Kwanzaa. It's fantastic from Darwin Nunes. And it's even better from McAllister. It's a fantastic Liverpool goal. Like, there's three crucial passes, four crucial touches. Kwanzaa finds Darwin. Darwin has set it to McAllister. He's taken a touch to set himself. And the Argentine has absolutely rifled a shot. And I can't, like, my TV's muted, but I can hear Roy Keane fuming, lad. Fuming, lad, as he should be. And I think it's one of them. If I'm Ten Hag, like, beyond the obvious, is there a point shouting at these players? Look at this, the second goal as well. wan is having a good game, playing himself in trouble, but it's Bruno. Bruno bullied off the ball. Rather than getting the fuck up, pardon my language, he's moaning. This is why this don't can't be your captain. This is horrible. Darwin Nunes has done very well, you know, actually, to get an assist and force the shot. Psh. Mo Salah's not picked up until it's too late. Okay, I, I thought it was a foul. Watching that again, no way can you get a foul for that Bruno Fernandes. You've got to be stronger. You've got to play to the whistle. Whatever country these players originated from, I know they're playing Premier League football and all of this jazz, but you lot were playing in parks, in, in fields and that. There's no referee there. You have to play to the whistle. Big up yourself, Marcel. Smash the like button if you haven't. It's going to be a big half of football. Big up, bro. Hope you're good. Come on. Come on, Liverpool. Hope they have as many extra games in Europa and FA Cup as possible. I hear it. Plus, United banner never gets sold. Don't you question every player's ambition that signs for United now, DG? No. Not really. It depends on the calibre of player, to be fair with you. But, you know, Man United, I know they're not the Man United of old. It's a massive club, bro. Like... It's a club that needs no introduction. You know, it's a club that if you, you know, whether you achieve stuff or not is another thing, but it's Man United. I can't begrudge people. And there's clearly some sort of attachment because Casemiro's joined. Uh, it didn't work out, but Ronaldo joined. Guys have joined the club, but it's one of them. It must be once you look beneath the prestige of the club and what it used to be and you're actually there, it's peak. But I wouldn't question their ambition, really. But then again, you could argue that and say, you know what, you do get a, a, a good payday. <laughs> Certain man did a lap of honour with me. <laughs> Boy, no shots, no shots, Basuma. Crazy, man. That's it. Anyone that signs for spuds, I question your ambition. I don't know what's going on there. Man United are still Man United, but they're rubby and I love it. And again, obviously, they still get to coast on that. But every year that they get further from Liverpool, even with Liverpool with this rebuild stuff, they're still away from them in City. The way United thing don't work, you know. It's like with Arsenal, we were rubbed for years, and yeah, we weren't, you know, we weren't signing Cristiano Ronaldo and that, but people still want to play for the football club, essentially. There's something about Bruno I just don't like. I don't think he's a big player. If he left United, I can't see what top side he could go to. To be fair, 
I actually thought Bruno was all right until that moment, really. I just think he's he's like a petulant child. I'd like, I'm not one of them who says, oh, they should be the captain and stuff, because I do think he has a winner's mentality. But then I could argue myself, I don't. I think when times get hard, this guy behaves like a little bitch. Pardon my French. Brand's out there. You can still mess with the guy. Like, come, he just, He's a petulant child, and we'll never find out. But Bruno Fernandes has to be one of those footballers that if you play for the same team and things go wrong, he must have had a punch up or two with some of these players, some of his teammates throughout the season. Essentially, come please, please don't, please don't spam, man. Please, you're ruining it. Ten Hag ain't good enough, but they have invested in his idea, so sacking him is even harder. And that's the thing with isolated to this game, I can't blame Ten Hag up until this point. But for someone that's Dutch and you know, got all of these ideas, if Ten Hag left tomorrow, what is his philosophy? I don't want to praise them look down the road and reminder they lost 3-0 to Fulham but Postacoglu from the moment of him being there you can see what he's trying to do like well I might not be able to tell you all his tactics but you can see a different Spurs side Ten Hag I can't see that injuries or not key players or not I don't know I don't know what you're doing in the front line I don't know what your midfield is doing yeah you're inverting fullbacks I don't know what your defense is doing as I said earlier I don't think Conan is an amazing keeper but his frailties are not hidden because the, the defensive structure is terrible and if Ten Hag left tomorrow, what is Ten Hag's Manchester United? Yes, he's won a, a cup. So, you know, you can say I did my thing. But in terms of philosophy, like what's been translated? That's where he has to hold that, essentially. But yeah, man, there's that there's that he's too emotional. There's that he gets drawn out of position way too often. Chelsea aren't good enough as a team for him to pull that off and get away with it. Chelsea are very dysfunctional, and I feel sorry for Raheem Sterling. He had a stinker today, innit? <laughs> From the free kick to the miss penalty to the... <laughs> when it's not your day, it's not your day, man. Big up Sterling. And people are saying that Chelsea are going to sell Sterling. And listen, it's Raheem Sterling who will get a move. But I don't know who's going to take his wages. I don't know who's going to give them a fee. And where the hell is Sterling going to go? Would I take him at Arsenal? Yes and no. When you look at Raheem Sterling at Chelsea right now, you wouldn't touch him with a barge, barge pot. I don't even know. Even his missus probably ain't going to touch him when you're performing like that. But because I'm a big fan of Sterling, you know, guards are in that. Still got the city Sterling in the mind. Arteta could work some magic. You never know. And to be fair to Sterling, everyone at Chelsea is really flopping. Cole Palmer's doing his thing. At times, Gallagher's shining. I really like uh, Gusto. But then you could argue the players that are performing, if Chelsea weren't a mess, how good would they be? So I think there is a bit of a tact. The way I don't like Bruno is the same energy I had for Abue when he was at Arsenal. That guy was ish slowing down the ball for no reason on attacks. I don't know what Wenger was thinking. Abue was just rubbish, man. I actually think there's a player in Bruno, but you're far too frustrating. You don't retain the ball. I do think, you know, if there was a team that wants to commit to playing direct and, and things like that, great. But Bruno's very frustrating and I don't know why you're the captain, but there's he's got to be a decent player. You're, you're Man United captain, regardless of what we're saying to counteract that. You play for Portugal. There's got to be something there. Fundamentally, he's a crybaby. Liga or Saudi for Sterling's? Me, I'm going, I'm going Saudi. What have I got to prove? Like, Obviously, he probably would love to win champs, but did my thing at Liverpool, did my thing at City, playing for Chelsea at the moment. Might as well go get paid, man. But then to a degree with Sterling and his age, it is kind of career suicide. You're already making out that I'm not busting out. Like, I don't really, not that I don't care, but I've cashed out now, if I'm honest. And to be honest with you, from a, like, I don't, I, it, again, what do I know? But, Will Sterling really leave Chelsea? You've just joined, so they must have told you that the first year or two is going to be crap, but they're going to change things. A new manager might provoke things. You know, Sterling, obviously, he's played for QPR, but since he's become a professional footballer, Sterling in London hasn't been a thing. He spent his years at Liverpool and City, so he's back home. Obviously, can see Mumsy, can do all of these things. Football career, you have to be able to move in an, in an instant, but... I don't think there's any need. And to be honest, you could argue that if, if we just say for argument's sake, Chelsea say, you know what, Raheem Sterling, you're leaving, like we're getting rid of you. Is Chelsea going to have to want, Chelsea are going to probably want to move him on more than Sterling. Like he's on big wages and whatnot. But it would, you know what, you could make a case of him still playing Premier League football. Premier League winner like four times, won a couple of domestic things. Go make peas if you don't want to stay at Chelsea. It's so crazy. The hype that Saka is getting now is the same Sterling and Ali got. Be careful with this English media. To be fair, I don't think Saka's getting hyped, if I'm honest with you. And I disagree with Sterling getting hyped, if I'm completely honest with you. I think he was hyped. Like, people were rating him, but like Raheem Sterling, 
I think he's got one of the best mentalities. Since that man has been 16, 17, he's been crucified by Piers Morgan and all the British press. He's been crucified by, um, you know, for being a flop. At, well, he was. they said he was going to be one of the first out at City, England as well. Even, even that, not last year, Rose. There was a competition. I can't remember if it was a World Cup or Euros, but Sterling played out of his effing skin and he was the full guy. Brendan Rodgers did him, it's well known, ask anyone within football, Brendan Rodgers did him dirty when Liverpool were when he was leaving Liverpool and leaking things to the press. That is 100% well known. That's why Brendan Rodgers is a scumbag, absolute scum of the earth, man. Great manager. Make sure, you know, if I ever link you, you want to do an interview, I, will, I won't do you dirty, but you're a scumbag, absolute scumbag. Second half is to kick off people. Liverpool obviously going to kick off the second half because... United kicked off the first. Can United turn this around? Can Liverpool get another goal? Their next goal is vital, as we know. And we've got kickoff people. I always have, always going to have faith in Sterling, what he needs to fix up. And that's the thing. When you look through Chelsea, who's looking good? Modric looks rubbed and Konku can't stay fit. Everybody is rubbish at this moment. So I guess there's a bit of tax. Oh, Joe Gomez, you're a bit too narrow there. Marcus Rashford charging down this left-hand side. The only thing that can defeat Rashford is his decision making. And he's actually done well to find Wamba Saka. And that's an early corner in the second half to Manchester United. Sterling's best year was with Sane on the other flank. In Raheem Sterling's a volume player, isn't it? Sterling, obviously, you've got amazing technical qualities to us normal people. But for me, Sterling's not a great striker of a football. He ain't got the best decision making. It's kind of standard. He's he's limited in the sense that you know he's fast. You know you kind of have to set goals. For, well, you have to kind of set plot passes for him in a certain sort of way. And he's a volume player. If you feed him in behind 10 times and he gets two goals, job well done. I'd love Palmer at Arsenal, but unfortunately it wasn't a thing. The corner's been taken quickly by United. Marcus Rashford will show too much of the ball to Robertson there. Robertson, the flying Scotsman says, thank you. The pass from Robertson's horrible there. And United are back in possession. Mickey Mount to save us. DG's got to catch up to have his goals and assists. Is Mason Mount even on the bench? Mason Mount is on the bench. Where's he been all season? And it's actually, you know, big up to my Arsenal fans. Check out the video I released earlier today. You know, apparently Arteta was confident that a Mason Mount deal was going to be done. So I don't know if he was trying to sign Havarts as well. Oh, Rashford, that's horrible. If he was trying to sign Havarts as well, if he had different plans for Mount, I don't think he would have played Mount as a false nine, but he might have been that long-term eight partner to Declan Rice. Who knows? What do you think about the links of Diaz coming to Arsenal? Brahim. Exciting, not exciting. I don't think he's a difference maker like that. But then again, you're at Madrid, you're gonna look like average. He's, he's a very exciting winger, can play as a 10, can play out wide. I'm not really convinced on the fee required for him, but I like him a lot. Darwin Nunes charging forward. Oh, is he earned the corner there? It's good play from Darwin Nunes. I'm not quite sure if I would look at Onana in a bit of a different light there. Darwin Nunes did well to get past Varane. Yeah, Onana's dodgy, man. No, Onana's kind of beaky. I can't lie. He's, he's kind of beaky, man. The man them should stop being goalies, man. Mount, I didn't want for at Arsenal. I wouldn't want Mount, but I'm not going to lie. I was... I kind of thought for what Arteta would want to do, I'd understand the Mount thing more than... more than Havertz, and obviously he's English and whatnot. Diaz reminds me of Hazard, but I like that player for Leicester called. Mount was more overhyped than Saka at one stage. But hey, I just think, and the thing is, Mount can play everywhere, but what are you? I'd prefer him to play as an eight, but you're frustrating. Robertson, living up to the tag of being the flying Scotsman, finds Luis Diaz. Diaz squares it to Shabozla. Is he going to unleash the shot? He does. It's blocked by a sea of red shirt. Bruno is a rodent, cheats, dives, plays for himself and blames his teammates for anything that goes wrong. Scumbag who belongs at a club like United. <laughs> That's harsh, man. Mount overrated. I like Mount, man. Frankie the Young and Osman in the summer and we're lit. You know we ain't doing that. I'd love to be wrong. Hit the like button if you haven't, but you know we're not doing that. Joe Gomez with a throw in on this right-hand side. He's taking it. Varane's won it in the air against Darwin Nunes. Endo heads it on. McTominay should and does beat McAllister in the air there. Wamba Sacco. I think he didn't know much about that, but his clearance has found Ganacho. Ganacho down this left-hand side. Uh, he's tried to find Hoyes Lunis. Great defending by Van Dijk. Shabozla. Joe Gomez, you lot need to get out of there. Switch the flanks. Joe Gomez, Shabazz, like, there you have it. Van Dyke. See, this commentary shouldn't be free, people. Robertson, 
The next goal is vital. And this is where the football game kind of becomes a chess match. Obviously, the more the game goes on, the more Manchester United are going to have to gamble. Pardon me. And I think Liverpool can just do the right things. If there's an opportunity to score, score. But just keep playing how you're playing. At some point, United are going to have to say, do we run the risk of conceding a third in the pursuit of getting a second? And that's maybe typically how you see a third Liverpool goal. Kwanzaa, Endo, Bruno Fernandes chasing shadows. Big up yourself, M, and appreciate your part of the furniture here. United confuse me because they actually play quite well. I don't think generally they play quite well. I think it's almost a case of nine times out of ten, Man United win, lose, draw. It's the same old thing, really. Salah, of all people, with a poor final ball. Oh, Nana's distributed it quickly. I think Onana's a good distributor of the ball. He's just, whether it's the shot stopping, and he's a good shot stopper, like he's a good keeper, but it's just there the shaky things. Marcus Rashford's been forced out wide, but he's in acres of space. He needs support. Marcus Rashford tries to pull it into the box. Oh, it's not the best of clearances from Liverpool. Shabozlai on the case. To be fair with you, he's pull it out for a throw. Diaz would be a decent signing from Madrid, wouldn't be against it. Only thing, would he be willing to rotate? That's the thing. He'd probably do it for Madrid because it's Madrid. You'd imagine he probably would prefer to play off the right, but he is an option off the left. But there's a lot of games, man. Like we've Arsenal played 28 games this season and we've. I'm not going to say we've got the most injuries, but from August, we've been dealing with a lot of them. There's different heroes and protagonists. So yeah, McAllister has picked the pocket of Manchester United's players in midfield. Diaz is charging forward. Oh, it could get ugly for United here. Diaz, Mohamed Salah. Oh, Salah don't want to score today like that, even though he's bagged. He just wants to do assisted, isn't it? Because I felt Salah could have done things quicker there. Mohamed Salah, Endo. A third Liverpool goal is coming, isn't it? Darwin Nunes. Dar uh, quietly, Darwin Nunes had a good game. Endo. Thought he was going to go for the shot. Crowded out there. McAllister. Patient play by Liverpool. I mean, they don't need to do anything other than that. Virgil van Dijk, Kwanzaa. Oh, is Joe Gomez going to get there? wan -Bissaka says, forget all of that. Bruno Fernandes, the only way to allow people from criticising you, you is if you make something happen. Oh, are you going to keep that in, Liverpool, lad? Can't keep it in. To be fair, Bruno's ball is re related to this throw in here, people. Oh, oh gosh. Who got bullied off the ball by McTominay there? Damn. Cali has flapped at it. Who bullied him? Showed him Jim. Who was that? Damn. It don't mean anything because it's not a goal, but eey, happens to everyone. Eey. Serious strength. Mr. Aaron Wambasaka, not going to lie. I mean, he's done all right, but the very fact that Man United are saying that, that tells you you're at where you're at, isn't it, as a football club? Joe Gomez. And let's not forget, credit to Liverpool, but this ain't a full strength. Liverpool said... And they have not even... I'm sure Klopp wouldn't be happy with the first half. And they're in the driver's seat right now. Things can change, though. Marcus Rashford. Bruno Fernandes is deaf on side. Bruno Fernandes. It's whistled across everyone. And it's gone all the way up for a throw. Bruno Fernandes appealing for something. Does he reckon that's a handball? To be fair... I'm not sure. It's not. It can't be appealing for a handball, but it's appealing for something United related. Well, ah, you can't say handball for that. Would you take Tony or Goyakeras? The more I see the sporting ladder, more on him. I like Tony, but even though I guarded against it, it might, I must admit it's quite annoying. Ivan Tony talking all the time. Didn't see him at the Emirates. Couldn't even score against Rash. I mean, against Ramsdale. And he's talking again. If Madrid buy me, da, 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 just relax, man. I don't think he will do that at another club, but it, it's annoying. Kobe Mayno. United are not out of this. Ganacho tries to square it. Good defending by Robertson. Ganacho still has it. Bruno Fernandes. McTominay. No way you're getting a free kick for that. McTominay, you need to get yourself up. And it's one where you know you're lying so much, you have to actually make out you as fouled. Mohamed Salah. Darwin Nunes. It's not the best of balls into Darwin Nunes and he done well to get the shot off. But that's how quickly Liverpool can cause problems in the counter-attacking transition. Are they really saying this is handball for Robertson? Come on, man. It's hit the man's inner fire, bounced and he's, he's, he's turned around and it's hit his hand. I thought we moved past that. Probably if this game was played in the early stages of the Premier League season, you would have seen a penalty given for that, but nonsense. What can a guy do? He's not even looking. Hit his inner fight. 
shot block from Man United. I can't lie, it's becoming a bit more open. And the more it's open and United look like scoring, the more that third Liverpool goal could be pending. The lot with some defending to do here. Up against Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz, what can he do here? Dribbles past one, past two, retains it. Even he don't know what he's doing there, does he? McAllister into the path of Robertson. Andy, Andy, Andy Robertson. I can't lie, Liverpool in their bag with that chance. It's lit. I love seeing fullbacks get the praise we deserve. Tony chats like a bad beat. That's not a pause. He, he talks too much, man. And I don't think he's wrong. I do like his ambition, but it's got to be jarring for Brentford. I don't think if Tony goes to Arsenal, Chelsea, whoever, he's doing that. Spurs, maybe. To be fair, Spurs should... I think he'll be good at Spurs, if I'm honest. He'll be a player I hate in the North London derby. wan has done bloody brilliant there, and he's found Ganacho. wan has been good today. Ganacho. Surely a free kick. He is looking for it. He is looking for it. And it would have been soft, but I did think Ganacho should have had a free kick there. Gomez inverting is causing Liverpool issues. You're right. Still 2 1 to Liverpool after those quick goals at the end of the first half. That's poor from Diaz there. Good interception by Van Dijk. Shabozla. Need to see more. I like him a lot, but jewelry's still out, man. You don't really do much across 90 minutes. Even if you score a scream, I'm still thinking. It's a corner kick for Liverpool, folks. Bruno's ability on the pitch and none of his personality would be a fan favourite. Bruno's just an annoying footballer. So unlikable. Don't think he's bad, but he's so unlikable. Tony chats too much, man. But again, Tony's selective, respectfully to Brentford. He's not doing that at other clubs. But I, could, I mean, it's it's harsh because we don't know him as a person. Innit? We can only go off what we portray and ultimately what he says. But it just feels... I never used to believe it at first when we used to do live streams and you lot used to say this sort of stuff. But I must admit, the more it's going on, I'm like, yeah, you probably... You, people just don't want to deal with it. Like, got a, you're a good player, but you're not amazing like that. Big fish in a small pond at Brentford. Robertson's corn, cross, sorry, has been cut out by Wambasaka. Wambasaka, I feel sorry for you. You're one of the only players that deserves a bit more, if I, in my opinion. I mean, it all went wrong for Man United in the, you know, minute 44. It's not good. Great 44 minutes, I believe, from them, but football's a 90 minute game. It's not good. Well, 100 minutes, really, not these days, but it's not good enough to be like that. And it shows that United, young and old, is they're naive, did not manage the game properly. Forget the two quick fire goals. Alarm bells once again should have went ringing when Endo's goal was disallowed. They didn't. And that's why they find themselves in this position. Darwin Nunes, McAllister. Good player, man. Salah tries to cross it. wan having none of it. Oh, surely that's a foul. Got to be a freak, Bruno. I don't think... Bruno didn't mean to do that. But considering he's on a yellow card, he needs to be careful. He might be in trouble there, you know. You never know. Bruno could be in trouble there. Nah, I'm lying. I'm capping. It is a free kick, but you can't give a man a second yellow for that, even as annoying as Bruno is. And he needs to be careful, man. I know it's in his nature, but all this... Like, it's mad. Wambasaka finally having a great game, but United is in the bed. will rubbish it. True. In real time, it looked a lot worse. It's not the worst of tackles, to be fair, from Bruno. You, well, if Liverpool, Liverpool do have the quality of players to score from here, but it's a big ox. Hope your boss lads all right. He's back up to his feet, to be fair. Tony, as a player, he is hungry and decent, but issue is I don't want to hear you constantly talk to the media. If he moves, if he moves, clubs won't have it, but I ain't going to tell him what to do. He's a grown man. I hear it. Free kick to Liverpool. I mean, you've got McAllister, Shoboz, like Mohamed Salah all over it. It's going to have to be something amazing, but psh, would you really want to, you know, would you really want to be a United fan on the edge of your area with these guys that can't strike a ball from distance? I know Salah's got it in his locker. I know McAllister could do that. But I, if I, I fancy Shoboz like for this, and I think he's moving away from it he's talking to his teammates that are kind of blocking united's united's path to seeing this ganacho's doing the laying down thing i'm screaming sure boss like should hit this pause yeah 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 good save dg good save that was a bit mad <sighs> to be fair who knows 
McAllister might fancy it. Shabozlai might fancy it. McAllister's gone for it. Nah, McAllister. Nah, you're, you're a player that's a lot better than that. It's gone over. Too much responsibility for Maino in the middle. It's not fair for him. Again, if you didn't know Colby Maino's age, if you didn't know the other players' age, and you just look at the three central midfielders for Man United, who looks like they've played the most games? And it's testament to Maino. And you're right, it's unfair. But it's this, like, anytime I do Man United watch alongs, I'm sure a couple of you are Man United fans. That like, I'm sure if you that if you remove the fact that it's Liverpool versus Man United in the FA Cup, I'm sure they say the same things every week. Scott McTominay can't bring it under control. McAllister have that. Joe Gomez inverting Endo. McAllister finds Shabozla. Shabozla. McAllister. Oh, poor touch at a vital moment from McAllister. United cut that out. It's looking like a case of Liverpool getting the third ref. Come on, that's never a free kick. I think Joe Gomez has been done unlucky there. I, I hold my hands up if the replay shows I'm wrong. But come on, ref. Ah, no, I don't think that's a free kick, let alone a yellow. Yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. Fair play, ref, fair play, ref. Joe Gomez on the yellow. I mean, Rashford, you need to run at this done. Boy. On that, apparently Christian Flork has said Liverpool is interested in Daniel Marlin. United is still interested in a swap deal with Sancho as an option. Apparently Arsenal are watching. Well, you're making the content for me as Arsenal can't talk from a foot playing perspective. The show must go on. Lip. Boy, started well for United, but it's gone down the toilet. Apparently, Bruno Gomara says Newcastle have 10 games to save their season. I ain't no one care about Newcastle. Newcastle hype. Bruno Fernandez, how long before he appeals for a foul? Shh. It's bullied off the ball by Salah there. Ferran's lumped it forward. Surely Hoysland's offside. He is silly from Hoysland. They don't need to be offside there. Just under half an hour left. Don't hear us linked to Valise. Looks like he's on his way to United, but surprised we're not challenging for him. Good player, man. I think for Valise to go to the next level, I'm not asking you to be amazing week in, week out, but he'll be quiet for a few weeks. Do something amazing. He needs to take that and make that a minimum. And respectfully to Crystal Palace, you're a big fish in a small pond. Everyone's wild by everything. In theory, if you go to Man United, there's players that can score screamers and hit free kicks. It's not enough. And I think with Elise, you need to stay fit. It's easier said than done, and it is harsh, but I do think that's killing him. Mohamed Salah down this right-hand side. Shabozla. Kwanzaa, first time, well, second time, really, of asking into Endo. Endo, first time into McAllister. McAllister to Darwin Nunes. Darwin Nunes shifts for a shot. Big save by Onana. It is straight at him. It's too easy for Liverpool. It's too easy for Liverpool. This guy's not serious. It's a corner and you're getting Lucas aid. Ferran's hamstrings definitely going to be hurting after this game, if I'm honest. Feels like Liverpool are going to get that third and they're not going to try too tough for it. Robertson to take this corner. Andy, Andy Robertson. What an education it is for Kwanzaa, whether he makes it at Liverpool in the long term or not. You're playing next to Van Dijk, learning from Van Dijk, playing in a big game like this after being alone at Bristol not too long ago. Football can change. Robertson is a decent corner. It's fallen to Endo. McAllister's played it back out wide. Robertson will have another chance to deliver. It's, it's a what above everyone. Ah, uh, Salah's kept it on, surely. I think he has he. I think he has. To be fair, I would Salah and Kwanzaa, could they have told Darwin Nunes to leave it? Because it looked like his touch took it. It looked like it was going to go to one of them. Salah looks more slimmer, but this man is so strong. You know? like, I think people forget Salah's strong. McAllister. Pass one. Robertson. Endo. First time into Robertson. Robertson gets them out of there. Finds Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Shabozla. And you can see the experience from Liverpool. Just not don't they're just not doing too much. Trying to score, not getting complacent, but just boxing smart. If this was a boxing match, it's true. 
if Arsenal get Nico Williams, Zuba Mendy and Gaia Carers, would you be impressed? I think Zuba Mendy would, I'd love him. I like Nico, Nico Williams. I'm not as keen on him as everyone. I don't think he's that amazing, like, but he brings something. Gaia Carers for the prize. I, I would, I guess to a degree, I'd be impressed. I won't be over the moon like, yeah, you know, we're going to win the league and all these things. But I think it's a step in the right direction. Maybe I'm being a, coming across a bit too spoiled, to be fair, because that would be good. But then I would argue, obviously, in hindsight, they would show it. But I guess Zuba Mendy and Gaia Carries is lit. But the, any of them, can you evidently say from the moment of them signing for the club, like if they sign for the club today, they take us to another level? In terms of depth, I guess. And they all got rawness in their game. I've got faith Arteta will get a tune out of. Luis Diaz charging forward here. Finds Mohamed Salah. Is there magic from the Egyptian? He's gone for, for the goal. Oh, Nana's collected. And it weren't the best of efforts from Salah. Salah's been able to make the difference today. And he's not been amazing by his own standards. Signs of a good player. Varane. Where's the midfielders? Like, the, the lot is inverting and Kobe Maynard's there, but it can't be the same old players. And then Onana's going to lump it long. It's the same old story, you know. Again, for Ganacho to have any chance against Joe Gomez, you want him running at him, not balls in the air. That's food and drink to a defender, much less a natural centre-half in, in Gomez, who obviously has had periods and can play as a fullback. Joe Gomez, Mohamed Salah. United losing discipline. Well, for me, if we get De Jong and Osman, I'd be confident of winning trophies. Big if. Part of it, that's over 200 million on two players. I don't think Arsenal have the budget to like to stretch that much. Fullbacks are always spoiled. Because we're lit. Van Dijk, Kelly, he's lumped it long. Not sure to you, to you, but for Ram will say thank you. It's flicked on by Maynard and it's into the path of Endo. To be fair, United players are looking quite knackered. Shabozla galloping forward. It's never a foul. It's actually a good tackle from Kobe Maynard. Kwanzaa tried to bring the ball down. Oh, hey, composure from him. At times, behaves like a young Rio. I'm not comparing him to that. Just a lot of composure at times from him. United need a plan B. To be fair, I don't know what their plan A is. Trust. There's only so many times individual brilliance can get you out of situations. And it's not sustainable. United just seems like vibes. Whether they win, lose, draw, whatever they've done this season and last under, under, under him, it's just vibes. It's just vibes. I'm sure there's tactic and there's structure. And I'm a hypocrite because for 44 minutes, I do think I saw what Ten Hag wanted to do. But then Ten Hag's going to come out and say, oh, yeah, we deserve to beat Arsenal. We deserve to win this and that and the other. He, he just finds a lot of excuses. Find some solutions, man. Salah. Endo. Paul Maino, McTominay and Bruno are passengers without the ball. Hey, man, at least with McTominay, he'll put a shift in. But you know, once you say players put a shift in, uh, Bruno, some games he looks amazing. Other games, typically big games, it's like a fish trying to climb a tree. He's very wasteful. Seems to be the first to quote unquote start whining and surrender. And I, I don't want to make this all about him, but absolute disgrace of a captain, really. Oh, can Darwin Nunes be in here? To be fair to El Nana, he's off his line early. It's a he's miskicked it and he's gone out for a throw, but nonetheless, he's there. You know, if the circumstances were different, Liverpool could score a few more here, if I'm honest. Like they're cutting United open on occasion with just two free passes, which a great side should be able to do, but You'd imagine against a team like Liverpool, you might not be able to match them on the ball. You can match any team in this world off it for portions of the game. Mohamed Salah. Gomez. Boy. It's like this game's just playing itself out, man. It's training ground vibes, man. Liverpool's knocking the ball around. There's not really the tempo it had in the first half. Oh, Delot's made a mess of that. He's completely swiped at it. And Robertson's in possession. Darwin Nunes. Tries to find Salah, important this interception by wan Saka. Joe Gomez, I mean, I don't think he meant to pass it to Salah, but he did. Salah, Robertson, too much play in, in, in the box. Too much foreplay. Someone had to claw it there, and that's it done. It's down this left-hand side, Luis Diaz. Diaz to Darwin Nunes. Darwin Nunes. McAllister, can he get a second? To be fair, Nunes fouled off the ball, appealing for a pen. I believe you're not going to get one for that. 
Big up yourself, Diallo. Van Dyke. I mean, surely, like, I don't know who, not so much for Liverpool, but like, that's a poor pass. Oh, Gomez got him out of that. Surely United need to inject some fresh blood on the pitch. Who that is or what they do, I don't know. But like, a couple of players look spent, look like they've given up. It's here with Diaz. Robertson, Diaz, back to Andy Robertson, back to Diaz. Diaz finds Endo, Endo, Robertson. Mohamed Salah, if he had a right foot, it probably, oh. If he had a right foot, he probably would have shot. He's tried to pass it like on a number of occasions and his passing hasn't been the best from Salah today, but he's made the difference when it's counted and Klopp's unhappy with that. I mean, we've been treated to three goals. Dominant second half so far, but a little frustrating, I can't lie. For us neutrals, it's quite of a tough watch. Oh, no, no, Maino. First time from Maino. So, to be honest, people could have told Maino you could have turned there because Maino is one of the only players that's going to try and get things going. But there's only so much one or two players can do before you succumb to what your teammates are on. That's good play from McTominay, to be fair. Won't say that too many times. Bruno Fernandes with a ball over the top. Rashford can't bring it under. Neither can Ganacho. Yeah, United fans applaud the effort, but as much as you want to applaud the effort, it's got to result in something. And if it don't... This is the reality. Oh, and he must have been listening to me. Subs. Hoysland is coming off. Who's coming on then? Ugh, Anthony. I mean, shit guy finally score soon. Feel sorry for Wan Bissaka. Probably legs are done. Harry Maguire has come on. That probably means there's a shift in certain players' positions. Harvey Elliott will be coming on for Liverpool, by the way, folks. For who? I reckon Shabazz like, yep, see. It ain't been bad, but it ain't been amazing. You know what? This might be the game Anthony scores and his Man United career takes off. If you haven't subscribed or smashed the like button, I don't know what you're doing, folks, but make sure you do. Harvey Elliott coming on. So, yeah, changes, fresh blood. And even some, some, some sorry, signings like, like uh, Anthony, like, weren't that your guy? That was your guy in, in Holland. It's not worked out. Maguire's one ahead of early doors. Van der Beek was your guy. It's not worked out throw into Liverpool. I'm not the lot. You're wasting your own time, bro. Throwing the ball around away and that. You're wasting your own time. Liverpool are winning, dog. What baffles me is that United can afford the Verses, the Javi Simmons, the Goa Carriers. Why don't they? They'll mess them all up at this moment in time with what they're doing. Robertson takes the throw. Diaz. McAllister first time on into the substitute. Harvey Elliott. Good pass from Harvey Elliott to find Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Salah ain't been at his best today. It's been cut out. Signs of a good player. He's made the difference. And his teammates have got the job done. Oh, McAllister tried to be a bit too cute and clever there. McTominay's picked his pocket and it's on this left-hand side with Ganacho. What can Ganacho do? Ooh, Rashford up front. Van Dijk's conceded the corner. Ooh. Growing up on Giggs, Skulls, Rooney, Van Nistelrooy, this has to be extremely painful viewing. Not for me, though. These up with the big bad bullies of the land. Where every dog has their day. United will be back. I don't know when. Can't believe it. I've seen Roy Keane, these kind of players. And this is the man captain. And Anthony's gone for the shot. The only fact that Anthony's had a shot is a blessing. Ten Hag's golden boy, Anthony, is that Ten Hag's biggest mistake. I'm not sure for biggest, but it's got to be up there. Spent bare money on him, man. You know, he's not up there with Foden, who's playing out wide this season. Saka, he's, he's a winger. Cole Palmer, like, I'm not asking you to be better than Mo Salah, but you're not, if you was to say best right wingers in the league or whatever, like Salah's first, you're not going to be mentioned. Like, Kobe Maino, Bruno Fernandes. And all it takes is one goal for United to get back in this. Scott McTominay to the back post. Ganacho brings it down. Can he get the shot away? He squared it to Bruno Fernandes. And yeah, less said on that, the better. United pressure being sustained still. Ganacho. Ooh, silly foul from... Go oh! Gomez is a lucky boy. I thought he gave away a free kick there. Ref doesn't agree with me. Mohamed Salah. Ooh, Kobe Maino. You're getting shot. A good player, but just showing the levels a little. Lovely little bit of skill from Salah to a free kick. Nelson's better than him. Oh, Nelson's done more in the league, get it? 
And to be fair, everyone that's enjoying Anthony's demise, Arsenal should be giving a you know a round of applause because he scored against us last season, and they kept the faith. Ajax probably couldn't believe their luck. Well, when my team goes shopping in Holland, it's different. Kwanzaa, Harvey Elliott does well to find Salah. Salah first time. Joe Gomez doing up inverted. Andy, Andy Robertson is down his left-hand side. Luis Diaz. Ironically, for a large part of the first half, Diaz looked to be the one attacker from Liverpool that makes that happen. Salah's got an assist. No, he's got a goal and an assist, forgive me. I could be wrong about that, actually. We'll check that. But either way, Salah's had a hand in something. Darwin Nunes has had a hand in something. And yeah, it's a corner kick here, by the way. Big up yourself. Didn't know the game was on. Where have you been? Anthony signing is definitely the biggest crime Ten Hag has committed. Don't look, you don't even look better than Anthony Gordon. Where? I wonder if this would have 15 minutes left. I wonder if this would have been a different game had Casemiro been fit. I mean, for Man United, at some point, there's 15 minutes left. You're staring down the barrel of going out. Something needs to give. Robertson's taking it first time. It's here with Mo Salah. Harvey Elliott asks us for it. Salah tries to deliver it into the back post. Salah's just trying to turn into an assist king today, you know. He's actually allowing Man United. Anthony, what can he do? He's actually... Well, he hasn't. I thought he kept it on. One sub. To be honest, who is on the bench for Man United? And it is easy for me to sit here as an armchair fan and say they should do this, they should do that, they should do the third, but... Oh boy, Connor Bradley coming on for Liverpool. Cody Gatpo coming on for Liverpool. Things could be changing. Boy. Boy, 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 boy. Great player, Connor Bradley. Salah's coming off. But hey, Klopp reckons it's done, isn't it? Who have United got on the bench? You would think Liverpool are trying to get back in this. To be fair, good sub to bring on Cody Gappo. To be fair, who can United bring on? Like You could bring on Ericsson. He can make things happen in a pass or two. Mount, no clue on his fitness. But there's that. Diallo, I mean, you should have went on loan in January. Clearly, it's been made clear the manager don't rate you. So it's no surprise you're still on the bench. You've got young Amari Forson, who's a young player, it's hit and miss. Amrabat, I don't know what you're going to bring to the table because you're not a goal scorer or anything like that. And, nicking a living off your exploits for your country really and truly but yeah Kelly is better than what I thought Arsenal should sign a backup keeper like him it's difficult to find a Kelly or Ortega I'm sure they want to play a lot more but quite kind of rather accepting of their status in the team big up the Kenyans more postponements of games for Liverpool and City nice but hey Varane oh Nano 13 minutes left, folks. If you haven't subscribed, we'll smash the like button. What are you doing? Ball over the top. Garnacho's got hands all over his man there. He's on the corner. To be fair, Garnacho up against Conor Bradley. They're both young. That could be an interesting one. And it's not over for what it's worth. As you lot know, it's actually not over till it's over, man. I, I still have the Man United of old in my head, like, where they score last-minute goals and whatnot. I know we're a long way removed from the glory days with Alex Ferguson, but yeah. Bruno Fernandes to take this in-swinging corner. I mean, he's lucky Harry Maguire's head is massive because that was a terrible corner. It's kept alive by Harry Maguire. Anthony delivers. The young Kwanzaa heads it out. Kobe Maino heads it on. Poor from Joe Gomez, really and truly. He's headed it straight back to Man United. Anthony was played over to the left hand side by Maino. Ganacho's pull it across. It's good clearance. Bruno Fernandez. Is he going to deliver? Tries to play the one two with Maino. Maino's pass is horrible. Showed too much of it to Bradley, and Liverpool have it now. Cody Gakpo, who's been a bit of a tougher. Whoa! It's about five white shirts up against two Manchester United ones. Liverpool have to make this count. Harvey Elliott, ooh, if I was Klopp, that'd be the first thing I'd be angry about. That's where you have to pull the killer blow there. And that's poor from, from Conor Bradley on for Harvey Elliott. I don't think Liverpool are in trouble here, but considering it was about two, five white shirts up against two United, United players, that's the third goal. That's it done. If I was Klopp, I'd be a bit frustrated there. That should have been it. Leads to winning 2-0. 
that should have been it. It's literally five against two. It's quite poor, really. Oh, they must be listening to us. Ericsson's come on. Kobe Maynard's off. To be fair, one of the only players week in, week out that can say he's, he's left Man United's pitch actually saying I came to play football. But we all know Ericsson is fresh legs or not. We all know he's not the best off the ball. But that's the risk you have to take. And they need to be trying to hit him every occasion possible. Not seeing much from Man United subs. I don't think it's their fault. Like, got 2 2 in this game. Who knows? I ain't got no tips, but I've never been to Vietnam in my life. But enjoy, bro. See the world, man. It's a big, glorious world out here with many different cultures, diverse countries, cultures, ways of life, sites, etc. Man, so yeah. Have a good trip. Obviously, I wish you a safe journey to and from because I think in life that's very underrated. So, yeah. But hey, 10 minutes for Man United to get something out of this. If not, that's another trophy done. Go ahead. Varane heads it on. Second half's been a bit of a... I don't know, like... It's not really been anything. Joe Gomez. I feel sorry for me, you know. Gapo was terrible in that 2v5. Cody Gapo's hit a bit of a roadblock in his Liverpool career, man. Started well, kind of fizzled out. Harry Maguire's touch hasn't got, got him anywhere. Diaz, he's looking for Nunes. Don't try the hard pass. Finds Cody Gatpo. Can he make something happen here? Cody Gatpo. Not the best of passes, but McAllister makes it look all right. Connor Bradley. Good fullback he is. Connor Bradley. Poor corner. Poor cross from him, really. He'll be sacked tomorrow if they lose. Don't sack Ten Hag. Trust the process. But we really think if they lose, he's going to get sacked tomorrow. You never know in life, but I don't think he's going to get sacked. Surely next season, Connor Bradley gets a bit of a num better number at Liverpool. You know, a number that signifies you're closer to the first team rather than 84. You've got nine minutes left, folks. Probably about four or five minutes have added on time owing to the subs. Lindelof and Maguire, well, to be fair, more Lindelof, but between them, they've made a mayor of it. Connor Bradley is great strength from him. Finds Harvey Elliott. Endo. Kwanzaa. All the way back to their goalie. He just lumped it long, to be fair. He's probably bored. Darwin Nunes coming from an offside position. Knows he can't get involved. The ball's falling to McTominay here. Anthony wanted no parts of that. Yeah, you wanted no parts of that with Endo. Everything that's wrong with United, man. People lacking courage and bravery. Harvey Elliott. Finds Cody Gatpo. Cody Gatpo goes for the shot. Earns a corner, but was that the best thing? He's got to be lying to his teammates and saying he tried to pull it across, to be fair. Tyson Fury looks bewildered at Old Trafford watching this. Respect to the, the Gypsy King, but we want to see the game of football. I don't think anyone necessarily cares. Southeast Asia is the region I've travelled to the least. My thing is mostly Africa, South America and Europe. Oh, well travelled. Wish I could say that one day. McAllister to take this corner. Eight minutes of normal time on the clock. No clue what the linesman's telling McAllister, but fair enough. You want to be seen on TV. Appreciative to you lot watching this with me, people, as the game draws to a close. McAllister delivers. I think Darwin Nunes got his head on it, but zero direction, and it was a difficult one. I mean, United look like they're lacking belief, man. They at least make it difficult. Kind of do what Liverpool did to City at Anfield. It's very different, but Anfield in the league, where it looked like at any moment they could score, at least go down fighting, man. You look like accepting of the result. Or if they're not, there's a lack of ideas. There's a lack of courage. It's like everybody's looking at everyone to make the difference. Which, to be fair, the first 20 minutes, they were very good. Onana's gone long. And again, like, you're not going to get too much change in that regard. Cody Gapo, Luis Diaz. McAllister. Oi. 
Joe Gomez playing left back. To be fair, he's quite versatile. Can play all across the back three, isn't it, it's shown. We need a United goal to spice things up. You never know. Life is funny. There could be a goal against the run of things. The only thing that you'd imagine could harm Liverpool at this moment is just complacency. The game's basically won, but it's not won until it's won. So any belief of anything like that, you're going to be in issues. Varane. Raw, oh, Nana's playing like a... To be fair, Nana's got some bravery. But to be fair, oh, Nana's done well to find Lindelof. Keeper can't be your bravest player on the ball. Bruno you know, Fernandez attempts to play in behind Collar Bradley. You can see a throw in on this left hand side from Man United. Are you confident for buying? John, I don't understand confidence really. You know, you Diallo's coming on. That's how you know Ten Hag is stressed. You know, in many ways, you know, the, main, the way we're working as a football club, we should be confident that we can give a good account of ourselves. Let's just try really hard and see where we go. Bruno you know, Fernandez. Let's see what the Diallo, you, that Man United fans harp on all about what he's about. If he's fortunate enough to get a, to get a touch, let's see exactly what he's about. Can't be about much. Oh, you're not saying nothing mad, but yeah, man, done now. Ten Hag will get sacked somewhere between June and December. You know what? The funniest thing is they can still get champion. Actually. Prefer United definitely over Spurs to get Champions League football. Darwin Nunes, he's got no support. But no support. Done quite well, Darwin Nunes. Does very well, actually. Found Harvey Elliott. Harvey Elliott. <sighs> Endo didn't have too long to think about it. He got the shot away. Sorry, Diaz. We didn't get to anything. Bruno Fernandes. Players like him, and I don't want to keep making it about him, that have to let Man United know they're not out of it. You would think they're losing 5-1. One. one goal draws you level. Anthony found Ganacho. Six minutes, what, four minutes on the clock? It's the 86th minute. Anthony goes for the shot. Oh! Anthony is bagged! Shit, guy finally scored. Complacency. Anthony has drawn them level. Does this go into extra time or is there pens and that? Boy, complacency is a killer. And he's finally shown his worth. Boy. To be fair, Anthony needs that goal a lot, is it really? Not been saying that too much. Liverpool can only blame themselves, essentially. I wonder if Klopp is a, you know, Van Dijk made a mayor of that. Liverpool made a mayor of it, really and truly. Shout out to Diallo. And to be fair, Anthony, not just for scoring. And actually, Ganacho. It's poor. It's poor. It's poor. It's poor. It's poor. It's all poor. So now it's added on time. Is it added on time settings in this? Oh, extra time, yeah. Would have been nice for a replay. That would have been better. With his right peg as well. To be fair, big up Anthony for that one. One of you said you need a United goal to spice things up. You got what you wanted. Well, you got your 2-2. Two -two. Hope, you hope you cashed out. Complacency, man. With his right peg. Maybe he needs to start using his right peg more. Boy, Klopp, your boy's crazy. First little bit of belief, United were behaving like they're losing 4-1. Three minutes from time. Man said, I take it all back. Ajax Anthony got one. Oh, Cody Gatpo. To be fair, Nana's done well. He needs to find his, he needs to find his goal. Cody Gatpo, decision-making is horrible, man. Harvey Elliott. Oh, he's clipped the ball. I don't even know how he did that. Darwin Nunes. Can't get the shot away. Ericsson. How's it gone all the way to Harvey Elliott? Ericsson, you got to be... Oh, it's offside. They say you're most vulnerable when you just scored. DG, you're a prophet. He said that and he would score. How's Harvey Elliott... Appreciate that. I can't say I'm a prophet, though. Man, trying to go heaven. How's Harvey Elliott... What did Harvey Elliott even do there? the hell did he do that? Hit the crossbar. They say you're most vulnerable after you've just scored and you almost proved that right, to be fair. Boy. Boy. Van Dijk was so bad in that sequence. Terrible back here on poor recovery. Thought the game was done. Now we're set to see an extra half an hour, folks. 
Unless there's a... Surely there's not another goal in the dying embers of this game. Imagine if Man United get a third. Anthony driving forward down this right-hand side. He said, oh, hey, hey, Liverpool might lose, you know. Liverpool might mess this up. Ganacho. Poor, poor. Everything's got to be right there. Even Ericsson's getting mad at him. Poor, poor delivery from Ganacho. Van Dijk's having a bit of a mare at this moment. And Connor Bradley. It's funny how infectious this stuff is in football, isn't it? Just takes one guy to look shaky and then it starts spreading and equally with confidence. And I'll say this, you know, you think of how the game started to what we're seeing now. Of course, I'm jealous of managers, but would you really be jealous of the stress that comes with this? It's ridiculous. Harvey Elliott playing blind passes, to be fair with you. Been treated to four goals today. Two apiece. Well, get ready for an extra half an hour in a couple of moments, folks. Penalties. Harsh way to decide this tie, isn't it? But it's needed four minutes of added on time. I mean, both these teams, well, United historically, Liverpool really and truly historically and definitely under Jurgen Klopp, known for late goals. I mean, I'll never question Jurgen Klopp. But why did Salah come off? Van Dijk tried to pick a lovely pass, having none of it. Harvey Elliott up against Ganacho. Poor from Ganacho, really. And to be fair, for the young Liverpool players, they're losing their discipline. Pardon me, Diallo, or it could be peak. This is how you make a name for yourself, young man. Anthony, give it back to him. Don't be greedy. Bruno Fernandes. Finds Delo. Delo puts it in. No one there to try even head it. Christian Eriksen, man on. Finds Ganacho on this left-hand side. You're about to get clapped. Mm -hmm. I felt Brad Collar Bradley won the ball fair and square there. It's a throw-in. When the Porto game went to extra time, I was about to call an ambulance. Yes, yeah, extra time, man. Whatever the result, I know I'm eating tears on my enemy settings. I hear it. I hear it. The game is the game. And games like this is fantastic as a neutral. If we haven't subscribed, make sure you're doing such Diallo offside, but Ganacho's ball reaches Rashford. Has Rashford got a corner? Hey, you know, I'd, I could do without the added on time. So I'd love to see, you know, what United put the third goal in, man. There's actually no need. Based on the second half, there's no need for added on time. Harry Maguire, two teams that don't control possession. Can Harry Maguire... Is it written in the stars? Ericsson sets up Harry Maguire. And I wonder, United, that five versus two situation proving costly. Sorry, Liverpool. Kelly a snatched at it. To be fair, he's looked shaky on occasion today. Anthony, ooh, forced to go all the way home. Oh, Nana doesn't need a reason to be off his land. Here he is on the halfway line. Hey, if that pass comes off with his weaker peg, he's sick. Hey, big up on Nana the goalie. What a pass. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, it might get ugly, Liverpool, you know. Ganacho puts it back across. Kwanzaa clears, but it's not cleared. Harry Maguire, Van Dijk. It's getting very Sunday league -esque. Harry Maguire wins it again, Van Dijk. So where was this? In the, for the majority of the second half, United. How people disrespect the FA Cup. Been excellent games, especially Wolves versus Coventry. This game's been good value for money. You're right. This game's been good value for money. Wolves, Coventry and Chelsea, Leicester as well. That Maguire sub has actually worked to treat credit where it's due. Uh, Eric Ten Hag probably should have done it sooner. Lindelof launches his throw into the box. Connor Bradley, poor from him. The young Liverpool player showing their age, man. Ganacho puts it across. Oh, 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 United could be in here. Rashford doing skills at the wrong time. Liverpool having to take serious punches. United got the bit between their teeth. It's getting scrappy from both teams. Harry Maguire, you're, 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 you're a big lump. No way you're getting a free kick for that. Anthony reverting back to tight, but Ericsson has the ball. Diallo, Dali or whatever. You've waited so long to get some minutes, man. Keep going. Lindelof. Fernandez. 30 seconds. It's looking like extra time settings, folks. It really is. Rightly so, man. Neither team's done enough to win, clearly. Harry Maguire's header. Harvey Elliott. Did he get a touch on that? I'm not sure. Oh, you might as well hit it, man. You're in the last few seconds. Ericsson. Rashford's onside. 100%. Marcus Rashford. Oh! 
I hope I hope to God you're offside, you know. I hope you're offside. I hope you're offside. I hope Marcus Rashford is offside. He's got to be. He plucked it out of the air. Everyone thought that the comeback was complete. Marcus Rashford looks to the skies. God can't help you. You're not helping yourself right now, fella. Oh, my days. How's he not bagged? And that would have been good for you because, you know, your name's always in the papers and whatnot. Well, extra time, people. Extra time, extra time, extra time. Anthony with a late goal in the second half. Salah and obviously McAllister with late goals in the first half. Crazy. Crazy. Another big half an hour of football to go, folks. We're still here. Can we get to 200 likes before the end of the stream? 177. We must can get as close to 200 as possible, people. Appreciative to everyone who's hit the like button. If you haven't, we doing? We doing? Come on. Boy, it's been a good game. Well, the second half was boring. Let's, let's be honest. Second half was kind of boring. Anthony obviously livened things up. But it's like United gave up for a sec. This is why football's so mental, because the minute United got a goal, they looked on it like they could get a third, and Rashford had to have scored that. But he didn't. But this is why we find ourselves where we're at. Boy, Rashford go PSG, get out of here. I secretly wanted him to score that for the man. Them. I mean, I like Rashford, and I, 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 you're right, man. I don't, you know, Rashford, Sterling, you like to protect, not that we can protect these players, but regardless of their club's allegiances, you want them to do all right for obvious reasons. Some of the criticism is definitely justified, but we all know it goes a bit. We all know where it starts to filter into, in it, and anyone here does. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Anthony has scored his second goal of the season in all comps. Both goals scored in the FA Cup. Boy. Mohamed Salah has scored 13 goals in 14 appearances against Man United. No player has scored more against a current Premier League team since Salah joined the Reds. Harry Kane also has 13 versus Everton. I'm not going to lie. When I was reading that, I thought he was going to say Arsenal. So we'll have that. We'll have that. Apparently, Vlahovic has lashed out at uh, Allegri today. Club are likely to find him. Allegri has confirmed. I'll, tell you, I'll get on the phone, man. Anthony has scored at Old Trafford for the first time since the 9th of March 2023. It took him 373 days to end that. Boy, what other statistics are there? Kobe Maynard had a good game. We don't need to waste time on that. McCall McAllister has scored or assisted in six of his last seven games for Liverpool in all comps. Boy, McTominay has scored nine goals across all comps this season, people. Hoisland is the only United player with more. Boy, there you have it. Boy. Does it go to extra time? Yeah, we're waiting for extra time, man. Man could have just gone around the keeper. I'd drop him right now for that miss. To be fair, he may maybe you're right, but in real time, it felt like he just needed to hit the target. Like, just hit the target. Like, it's a poor finish. And that would have been one of the greatest FA Cup games it would have seen. My boy Anthony ain't missing that chance from Rashford. Hey, you're shameless. You are shameless. United got so many frustrating attackers. Arsenal, we got the most records of any club in the PL of 01 to 06. Ear moving like a different breed. Anthony's poo. Just decision making, man. He's got the raw, raw tools, but it's just decision making. And I mean, that could be said for everyone. I'm still here, folks. I'm not going to lie, though. We've been sitting here for a while. I'm still here, but I need to bust my own little half time stretches and things like that. I'm dying, folks. I've been holding a serious cramp in this second half. But I'll do it for you, look. I saw we got 185 likes. Can we get to 200? I'm acting like I'm about to take a penalty. Right, shout out my guy, D Soccer. You, 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 your penalty hit the crossbar today, boy. That was horrible. I'm so scared of players that go for power from penalties. Just hard and low, mate. So how do we think this game is going to end, folks? Do we see penalties? Do we see a late winner in, that, in extra time? Are Liverpool winning? Regardless of how they do it, are United winning? What have we made of the 90 minutes so far? And I hope you're all enjoying your weekend, man. 
Oh, do you know what? Rashford, do you know what? I think Conor Bradley's playing him on, but had Rashford have scored, VAR might have had a big decision to make. I can't lie, this commentary shouldn't be free, man. Tell him, man, you bring on Ericsson, things can happen. Oh, yeah, I need to sit back down. Sorry, folks. Ah, eh. oh, running with a cramp is crazy. Sorry, folks. We do this for the guys, but yeah, and girls, definitely girls. But, um, I, oh, oh, none has gone long. Let's keep going. The show must continue. Us creators get no love. Van Dijk, who been shaky in the second half. Luis Diaz. Hey, he's a baller, but he's frustrating. Ugh, what is that for McAllister? I just want to see Liverpool lose to annoy my friend. To be fair, Liverpool lose, United lose. We're eating in group chats today. Yo, DG, I didn't even realise this was happening. That five versus two, G, DG, Liverpool's forward stink. And that's where it's going to, you know, if you're Liverpool and you go out, that's where it should have been. You know, you could look at the Rashford miss, whether VAR could have got involved or not. You know, you could look at uh, Scott McTominay in the first half. That 5 eight 2 is horrible, horrible, horrible. Professional footballers. I know you're, you're, you're human, but come on. That's why some men are on the bench. Darwin Nunes, you can never be asking for a free kick there. Lindelof has dealt with him rightly so. Ericsson to Dilo. To be fair, United look like they're starting the second first half of extra time as they started the first half of normal time. Crazy. Should donate his wages to the finishing society. Where's Trent? Not a clue. He's not here. DG been knowing about the ballers at my club, Ericsson and Anthony. I, I think Anthony's a bad player because of his decision making. And I think, Anthony, you're either going to become a real, real player or you're going to be like this for the rest of your career. Stop doing skills where you don't need to. Get a bit of confidence in front of goal and you're lit. Anthony, can he get a second? Goes for the show. Oh, Lord, no. He, to be fair, he is falling on the floor there. He was falling over. But yeah, and that was again poor finishing from Liverpool. I'm not gonna lie, I can't tell Klopp anything about his subs, but there's too many youth men out there, and they're showing their age. You know, Harvey Elliott's the most composed. Connor Bradley showing his age, looking a bit rattled. Even Van Dijk, and he's definitely not young. Cody but Gapo been extremely ineffective so far, but he has earned a free kick for his team. Endo, when he wants to restart proceedings, shout yourself, David. Oh, we've got 196 likes. DG favourite player is Joey Barton. I mean, no, nah, man. Van Dyke. Where's the Liverpool options? I don't know why Rashford didn't bag. And to be fair, Mason Mount's on the bench. There must be some minutes in the tank, but how many? Kwanzaa galloping forward. Connor Bradley, poor. But to be fair, Cody Gapo. Good player, but you just you look like one of them confidence guys. Bradley gives it back to Gapo. Gapo. Joe Gomez. Ambitious pass, really, if I'm honest. Oh, none having none of it. Confident collection from him. So, yeah. Nah, Jota's not on the bench, bro. Ain't he got an injury? Harry Maguire. To be fair, low-key, he's been a good substitution to come onto this pitch. Onana's gone long into the channels. Oh, sh surely Joe Gomez. Dark oh, How's he not? How's the ref not picked up on that? Grabbing D D Dalo sh Diallo's shirt. But to be fair, obviously, as a fullback or as any defender for both teams... If, especially the ones that have been out here for, you know, what's going to be an extra half an hour on top of the 90 minutes. You don't want to play against fresh legs. So they should be feeding Anthony and Diallo all the time. Kwanzaa's cut inside. He's very composed on the ball. Harvey Elliott, he hit the crossbar. It's been some mad moments in this game between, you know, Harvey Elliott hitting the crossbar, the five versus two. McTominay could have made it 2-0. And obviously Rashford's missed whether VAR would have got involved or not. Crazy FA Cup action, man. There's something in the water when it comes to this competition. Bradley, Gakpo, delivers. It's headed by McAllister of all people, but it is headed wide. Good effort from one of the smaller players in, in, in the Liverpool side. But yeah, Gakpo needs to be subbed. He's going to end up scoring now, ain't he? Be interesting to see who is going to thingy. Who would take penalties? And I wonder if in hindsight... 
Jurgen Klopp wouldn't have wanted to take off Mohamed Salah. I do think, you know, Liverpool kind of behaved like the game was won in the second half. But when you don't add to the scoreline and kill someone, this is what happens. You know, United historically, mainly under Alex Ferguson, known for the... And it's been there with Ten Hag, but primarily they're known for late goals. Liverpool, been known for late goals. So, there's probably going to be drama in this game. For some reason, when I think of Liverpool United, I can't remember the score or what happened, but I just, I'm just i sure I've seen Steven Gerrard sent off very quickly in a game like this. Kelly of Liverpool using his left peg. It's not quite Onana's and it's not because giving it to the boys in red. Like if you're a knife fan, you'd hope Onana would do. Anthony showing his decision making between him and Diallo. But to be brutally honest with you, that is where, and United still have a throw. That is the angle. Joe Gomez is knackered and it's nothing to do with the man's ability. Liverpool got the best pen takers. Man, you only got Rashford and Fernandes. To be fair, boy, they're going to have to find a way in it, really. Ball into Liverpool's box. Van Dijk having none of it. It has fallen to McTominay. Christian Eriksen. He probably should have had an assist. Anthony on this right-hand side. Does well, actually. Christian Eriksen gives it back to Anthony. You've got to pass it, Anthony, man. Fall into Diallo, who's chasing his first touch, and it is a free kick. Diallo, you need to do better and you need to enjoy this game, my guy. This is your this could be your last and only appearance in United. Yeah, though it looks like Ten Hag's been reluctant to bring you on consistently, and it's it's smart for him to make sure he fouled McAllister, if I'm honest with you. Ninety-six or ninety-seven, whatever better yet, minutes on the clock. Boy, Ten Hag's feeling the heat, took off his jacket, got the Man United shirt on display. Kwanzaa, Endo, back to their goalie. Come on, stop lumping it long, man. I'm not even a Liverpool fan, I don't really care, but it's not working, is it? Silly flick by Christian Eriksen, really. Endo, it's poor from both teams. United have picked their pocket, can they make it count? Ganacho, you might as well put that on your right and wrap it, lad. Ganacho corner kick. You know what? Hot take. I don't think this is getting pens. We're at the point where I'd love it to because tears and that, and it's the worst way to decide that. I think they bought him from Atalanta many moons ago. He's been on loan at Sunderland, maybe a couple of other teams, and he's been on the bench. Speaking of the devil, Diallo, I think something happened to his eye. Ref's talking to him. I hope he's all right. You never want to lose your sight. How are you going to see the Bedinas? But, yeah. And to be fair, shout out all the Muslim players today, man. I don't know if they're fasting, but if they are, like, it's crazy to be playing football like this and an extra half an hour. Big up to everyone else fasting as well. Ramadan Barak and all of that to you lot, folks. Christian Eriksen delivers. Not the best from a wonderfully gifted footballer. It's fallen to Ganacho. Tried to live a movie and it's just funded off a Liverpool shirt. Bruno Fernandes goes all the way home to El Nano. Oh, Nana trying to display his passing ability. That's a ball, actually. But rather is it to Harry Maguire? Harry Maguire's done well to pull it across, but it's a set of half, isn't it? To be fair, big up Harry Maguire. Oh, Nana just wanted to, us to see his passing range. I, I, I think he was more hopeful than anything, but... I mean, I shouldn't really be disimpressed by Nana's passing because he's a professional footballer, but a couple of times he's played some lovely pingers. Harvey Elliott. McAllister. I wonder, both teams don't look like if they know should they, they should stick or twist. Luis Diaz, surely a free kick. Silly from United. But this is where silliness happens and mistakes happen and lapses in concentration happen. Was nowhere near that there. Nowhere near that. All right, 201 likes. Appreciative DG Nation. You never let the guy down. And the rest ready. We'll have a free kick taken. Come on, ref. McAllister's still not taking it, folks. So we're waiting. It's going to have to be something good, really. It's a long way up. It's going to have to be a good one to the back post, in my opinion. Ah, it's a terrible one. Into the hands of Onano. I know Ahmad and Salah, Salah are both fasting. No hydration with these sprints ain't easy. Exactly. And an extra half an hour as well. 
Maybe to be fair, that could be a factor as to why Salah came off as well, to be brutally honest. But there's a lot of Muslim, not saying that they're wrong or right. I can't talk on things that have nothing to do with me, but there's a lot of Muslim footballers that choose not to fast for that very reason. So I have to, I'm not saying I don't respect them, but the ones that are fasting, massive respect. That's a ball by Diallo. Van Dijk's headed it on. Marcus Rashford keeps it alive. Ganacho, is he going to go for the shot? Plays it on the overlap. Oh, I thought Lindelof scored a screamer. Instead, it's into the side nettings, people. 100 minutes basically on the clock. It's still 2-2. To be fair, Lindelof entitled to go for the shot, but a bit like Harry Maguire. And the, the fan even thought it went in. It's a defender, in it? Like, he's not paid for that. Timikas is coming on. Is Robertson coming off or is it just Joe Gomez is coming off? Surely that means Robertson is going right back. In fact, is Robertson even... I swear he got subbed. He can't still be on the pitch. F knows, man. Anthony. Timmy Cass, silly foul. Silly foul. Silly foul. Anthony needs to keep his mind in check. He's very hot-headed. I hope it goes to pens. Need to tie down Liverpool to more football. Ah, I don't care who goes through, who goes out. At this point, if it goes to pens, I just want to see tears, man. Want to see all the young players miss. Want to see all the key players miss. And made the best team win in that regard. Second half for the neutrals, bit of a hard watch. Has had some good moments. First half was very good. Very good game of football. Oh, no, no. Lindelof. Is it, I don't want to sound like Gary, Gary Sooness and that, but I do honestly believe now nah, it's just coming down to hunger and who wants it more. Bruno Fernandes aims it for Ganacho. Good touch by Ganacho. Good hold up play by Ganacho. Waits for reinforcements. Don't lose it, lad. Don't lose it, lad. Think about what you're doing. Marcus Rashford. All right, the man then played the pass. All right. Bruno Fernandes into the path of Rashford. It needs to be across the floor. Connor Bradley heads on. United still have it. It's picked off the foot of Gana of, of, of Ganacho by Kwanzaa and he took a whack for his troubles there. But hey, still don't know where this goes. Oh, boy. Real, real lack of quality at the moment. As you like, to be fair, subs or not, the subs are going to disrupt, disrupt the rhythm. Players are tired. So good, it's ugly. Pardon me. Pull a suspect at the back. What's the draw for the semis? Not a clue, man. And to be honest, I'm definitely disinterested because Arsenal are not a part of it. Long ball forward by the Liverpool goalie. Good defending by Lindelof. Diaz has tried to knock it into the path of Gap when it hasn't helped. Good turn by Anthony. Good decision making by Anthony to find Ericsson. You're oh, FA Cup. There really is magic in this. Bruno Fernandez, Rashford. Are you offside? If you're offside, that's terrible, you know. If you're not offside, you need to score. I hope you're offside, bro. I hope you're offside. All right, you're offside. It looked like he was, but it was a bit of a late call. I don't know if the offside flag would have been risen, but he did look off, and I still think he's off. Poor finish though, man. His blushes are spared, but like, come on. Good turn by McAllister to evade the tackle. If I'm honest, Liverpool players, it looks like they're passing on responsibility again and again. Kwanzaa. Endo. Endo's quietly gone about his business today. Hard to be. Harvey Elliott. <sighs> Horrible attempt to cross over there, man. I want Coventry to get City and the winner here to play Chelsea. Uh, I don't at this moment. I don't really care who does it, man. It'd be nice not to. Well, you know, I'd rather City win it. I don't know City fans. I know Chelsea, Liverpool, Man United fans. Like as much as City have been bullying the league, probably the best team to win anything if it's not Arsenal, because there's no. I definitely wouldn't want Spurs to win anything. Not that they have a chance, but no, who knows City fans? Real City fans, respectfully, like. Rashford offside, dude still missing. I mean, Connor Bradley's taking 20 years to take this role. He's done well to evade a couple tackles. Harvey Elliott, does he see his name in lights? He goes for the shot. Oh! Goal, 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 goal. They did buy him from Fulham, but he is a boyhood Liverpool fan. He definitely watched my intro and he's pulled the trigger. 
Harvey Elliott. I can't lie, it's been a commentary masterclass from me. I said this, I, I said it, and I'm gonna say it again, and I can still be wrong. This ain't going in to penalties. Five goal thriller, Harvey Elliott adds to it. Boy, boy, it's good play by Liverpool. Initially, it looked like it was overran. If you don't buy a lottery ticket, you're not going to score. It was there for him. It has taken a deflection by Anthony. Let's have it right. It has taken a deflection, but the young boys have stood up to be counted. Sorry, Ericsson, in fact. It's taken a, it's taken a deflection, a slight knock off Ericsson, and it's gone in. It's gone through the legs of Maguire. To be fair, I might be being a bit harsh, and he did see it late, and I don't know about real time and all of that, but potentially, 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 regardless, maybe Onana could have done better. I'm being extremely harsh on that. The keeper is the last line of defence, so you do need to ask questions of everybody else. But yeah, Anthony has just sent Darwin Nunes for a bagel. Anthony. Oh, decision-making, my friend. You're Brazilian, so I want you to do well because Brazil need to win the next World Cup. Liverpool have made a mayor of this. Darlo. Good decision to find Ganacho. Ganacho first time into Rashford. You need to dive. Marcus Rashford. Uh, Anthony, are you going to try to keep that on? Uh, we're rooting for you, Rashford, but you need to start rooting for yourself, gentlemen. It's peak right now. Boy, no Salah on the pitch at this moment. No problem. One minute of added on time. And then you've got a 15-minute shoot at. This commentary shouldn't be free, man. Big up you lot. Make sure you're subscribing, man. We're on a journey to 70,000. Sounds mad that we're trying to get to 70,000 subs, isn't it? Half the Elliot Water Strike. I mean, it's half time now, people. I mean, it is a good strike, but it ain't like this, though. You didn't take touches, man. He's been in his court until 25. Allow me, I've got nothing else. Rashford, what a burden to a failing team. MBE got blood on his hands. Hey, it's not done, though. Massive deflection, but. At this point, who cares? Like, honestly, it don't matter how you score, just score, innit? There's a route to the semi-finals. And it's going to need to be a big talk from Ten Hag. Ten Hag doing all of this and that. I can't lie, Klopp looks a lot thingy, man. A lot more calm now. I said he's geeing up. I could totally do that. You're a centre-half, so no, you can't. And I believe you. So you've got two weeks to send, my, to send some footage to my email address. If not... We're letting sorry you slap us, sign my head. But to be fair with you, Declan Rice showed you at the Emirates as well. Robertson geeing up the troops. Harvey Elliott's goal. And to be fair, it must be a gas feeling being a boyhood Liverpool fan and scoring in games like this. Must be a gas feeling. Hurry up, ref. Hurry up. Got another half of 40, yeah? Well, 15 minutes of football. To be fair, the atmosphere between Man United and Liverpool, it looks lit. Well, to be fair, in the in the Man United section, you could probably hear a pin drop. But yeah. Ten Hag and Steve McLaren talking to Bruno Fernandes. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what you could be telling Bruno, but yeah. <laughs> ben is all love, man. Man United want the guy who gave DG the, the assist. All right, big up Charlie. He's actually a striker. I had no clue why he was out there, but shout out Charlie, man. My guy. Don't play for our team anymore. He's a good striker. He, you know how many crap passes I'd give him and it turned into an assist? Hey, Mickey Mount's on. This is how you know it's just inshallah settings, man. Vibes in. This is like football manager when I stream with you lot and we're staring down the barrel of defeat and I'm just making random changes. I hear it. But who knows? No emotional team huddles going on like another team we all know. Oh, that's a foul. Darwin Nunes caught him late. Bruno, your team's losing. you got less than 15 minutes. Even if it hurts, you need to get up. Stop rolling around, man. You tough, right? Wait, I'm, I'm acting because that's actually a foul. But this is what happens when you become the boy who cries wolf. No one don't care about it no more. Harry Maguire, that's horrible, Maguire, man. Ganacho's turned a terrible pass into a good one. Everything needs to be great from a United perspective. 
Rashford, Ra, Ericsson, Ganacho. To be fair, I thought Ganacho looked quite lively towards the dying embers of this game. And he puts it into the box. Someone's got a challenge. It's a free collection for the goalie. Someone's got to be brave, mate. Money Mace. Let's go. Ahmad and Mount Cameo were leaving with something, DJ. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Actually, I changed my mind. I want Liverpool to go through and draw City Nets. Could be good for us, for the league in the running. What do you mean by that? For me, I'm just... I, I don't know how that's relevant to Arsenal. I'm just enjoying every game as it comes. Good battle here on the left-hand side. Darwin Nunes can't keep it on. Good little battle. Be a Liverpool throw-in, however. Boy... It's been a great game of football made even better. We're watching it with you lot, man. If you ain't subbed, hit the like button, then we're doing. If you're on Twitch, make sure you're doing up Amazon Prime. Twitch gang, I haven't really saluted you lot the whole stream. You know I love you guys. You know I love you guys. Without you lot, it's not possible. Cody Gakpo, been a passenger. Well, when you pass a ball like that, he's got it back though. No, he's not. Harry Maguire saying, forget all of that, DG. Endo. I like him. He's quietly gone about his business today. In another world, maybe the goal stood. Endo's lumped it forward. Yeah, Cody Gakpo looks like the next manager's... He's a good player, but it's, you're going to have to be really hands-on with him. And if I was at Ten Hag, I'd be getting angry at the ball boys. There's two ball. We're at home and the two balls on the pitch and we're losing. Harvey Elliott loses it. Is that a United throw? It is a United throw. And now the ball boy is taking forever to throw the ball back. Bruno Fernandes gives it to Onana. Onana slightly got the best passing of any Man United midfielder. Well, range of passing. Bruno, you're smoking weed. You've given it back cheaply to Liverpool. Blushes are spared because Anthony's won it back. And then Anthony's doing Anthony things. Fortunately, it'd be a United throw. To be fair, Mason, I like man. But he needs to start shooting. But he needs to get the ball. He's someone that will pull the trigger. You know, I just need someone that's going to pull the trigger. Oh, Nana. To be honest, I'm so gutted that we're playing 120 minutes. Boy. Oh, Nana. Forward. Can't find anyone. To be honest, from a United perspective, obviously because they're chasing the game, it's not really about positions and all that. It's just about doing something. But it does look a bit like square pegs in round holes. Christian Eriksen, bro. It's poor from Eriksen, but man's trying to find Harry Maguire. At the end of the day, he's a professional footballer, but look, bro. Ten Hag going absolutely mad. Gap Pro 24 should be close to the finished product. I wouldn't necessarily say finished product, but a lot more, a, a, a couple of edges polished out. But then again, it's his first year. He's a big jump playing Premier League football from the Eredivisie. Kelly has been yellow carded. To be fair, I'm sure Liverpool fans would applaud that. And you can, you probably got a couple of more times to do that before the ref says, hey, I will send you off. Will United fans be happy or accept a valiant effort? I don't think you both really social. I don't think you can be happy. In many ways, it is a valiant effort. But in many ways, it's not. It's one of them games where... You know, history is written by the winner, isn't it? If you're a Liverpool fan, all's probably forgotten with how the game ended in normal time, with how the game started with United taking the lead. And nobody really cares about, you know, that that five versus two situation where they should have scored and it probably shouldn't have went to add it on time. If you're a United fan, one probably has to wonder why there was a lack of belief, in my opinion, in the second half until the goal was given. You can't not look at Rashford's, you know, effort where he could have scored and there'd be no, well, it'd be a different story. And I would actually say, I think it goes under the radar, but at a time United in the first half were two goals up. I mean, we're a goal up and they could have been two if McTominay scored. And probably the way they ended the first half. So it's a bit of a weird one, man. To be fair, close game and it's lovely to see. It's true, but same way, this is cup football. Hey, Maguire! Oi, forced to save. You know, what do I know? Maguire, I swear down. Southgate, Maguire might be an option up front. Fair enough. Maguire's got better decision-making in the final third than Rashford. That's a madness. It takes him about 20 years to chop someone, but it's working. Ooh. Bruno Fernandes. Doing too much. Doing too much. Doing too much. And can there be a Liverpool character? And you should be busting a gut to get back, Bruno Fernandes. That's disgraceful. Darwin Nunes. 
And see, there's a difference. Diallo, D- not Diallo, I keep mixing up the names. Diallo, the young boy from Ivory Coast, he deserves a pat on the back for effing busting the gut and winning the ball back there. Don't do too much now. We're supporting the man. Then don't do too much. Just pass the ball, bro. Maguire. Bruno Fernandes, you're a disgrace of a captain, you know. I don't want to sound like Graham Sooners, but you're losing the ball. There's young men on this football pitch doing more than you. Disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Disgrace, man. Disgrace, man. Absolute disgrace. This is great for Arsenal. Liverpool played 120 minutes and went through. Hopefully they get City next. Listen, I'm just... Arsenal, let's just focus on City at the weekend. This ain't got nothing to do with us. Well, I say weekend, 31st. Need United to score, want penalty drama. Maguire, the new Heskey. Arsenal was looking at Gakpo, who was at PSV, and then they signed Havertz. It's a profile that these big clubs need. Yeah, but Gakpo ain't really good in, in the air like that. Rashford! Day! Game on! I can't believe we've been treated to six goals. Liverpool are smoking. Marcus Rashford, the man them are shining. I'm, you know what? I don't support Man United, but that's the happiest I've been to this game because we know the headlines in it. You know the headlines, okay? Well, they shut up shop where I said this weren't going to add it on time. Liverpool have engineered their own mistake. Darwin Nunes doing too much. Scott McTominay take a bow. The two Carrington Academy grads have made the difference. Darwin Nunes being stupid. McTominay on the ball gets an assist with his goal. And it's a great finish from Rashford. Boy, we're seeing penalties. One of you wanted penalties or the vast majority. And it looks like we're going to see that. Boy, Jurgen Klopp. Eric Ten Hag, boy, your emotions up and down, up and down, up and down. I say we're going to see penalties. There's a reality where there might be a next late goal. Who knows? All right, Rashford, you've been meaty today, so yeah, pick him up. Who? Luis Diaz is coming on for this youth. You can't trust a man with a slit eyebrows, so you actually have to be a bloody good footballer or not. Didn't you come on in the League Cup? Big Angie love in this chaos. That goes for the men. Them open football pep and Arteta would be heart attack settings. <laughs> There's a lack of control. I think the players have showed naiveties. I actually think uh, Klopp subs have showed naiveties. Just dumb stuff. Magic of the FA Cup, it hasn't disappointed. To be brutally honest, the FA Cup hasn't disappointed this weekend. As Social said earlier, and a lot of you know, you you know, you've been witness to that dramatic comeback from Coventry. Obviously, Leicester versus Chelsea ended in Chelsea winning, but it wasn't plain sailing, and we've been treated to this. McAllister and Harry Maguire are down. We hope both men are all right there. What actually happened there? To be fair, I don't think it was what it was. It was, I think it was an accident, but Maguire's taking one to the chest. Can't lie, you know, it did look like McAllister was caught there, but you'd, you'd imagine Maguire's clearly tougher than him, but you'd imagine Maguire would have been the one that come off the worst. Hey, Liverpool have been, don't, don't let it go over your heads. Liverpool have been shambolic defensively today as well, you know. Well, both, both, both teams have. If you can see the three goals, crazy. Darwin Nunes, who's having a half decent game, Shh, that's all people gonna remember now. I'm scared for City, but got to give them a fight. To be honest, this game was worthy of a final. What a game! Has Klopp calculated his pens takers, putting on all these rookies a bit of pressure for the kids? Probably. Big up, let's activate. Probably has. Like anyone coming on, or that's come on and added on time. Penalties. To be fair, I could be wrong. I'm going Man United to win on penalties. Then, if it goes to pens, which it probably is, unless somebody does something stupid. Yeah, Onana's hoofed it long. I mean, McTominay was never winning that. It's a good touch there. Oh, late one on McAllister there. Surely a yellow. I don't know why uh, we don't support United goals, but I hear it, man. What a game this has been, man. What a game this has been. Mate, this is, I don't know, people who don't love football, fair enough. I'm not sure if Liverpool or United fans agree with me right now because hearts are over the line, but how can you not love football? Please, pens. Oh, no, no hero settings. Van Dyke finds the young Liverpool lad. 
surely Cody Gakpo takes one. Connor Bradley, Cody Gakpo, is he going to go for the shot? You was meant to go, United, weren't you? Well, to be fair, they're counting their, their blessings that you didn't. Ericsson has found Rashford. Rashford, who poor first touch, but has scored. Does he have the bit between his teeth? That's a ball. Oh, oh! Scott McTominay could have been on a brace, to be fair. One of the rare times Marcus Rashford's decision-making is spot on. Mate, one thing McTominay does is he does make bursting runs from midfield and he has been a regular source of goals or involvement in goals for Man United. Has he got? Has a Liverpool man got a touch on that? To be fair, Timmy Cass was following him. But that could have been it, Cody Gakpo. Yeah, my guy's back. Ref, fuck off, man. Pardon my French. That's not a free kick. He's played on. No, he ain't. Ref, come on, man. Apologies for the French. Just not a fan of players jumping to the floor. Can't lie, set up for Anana Heroes. To be fair, it'd be nice for the, you know, Rashford scored the random and whatnot. Very open, might not see pens. But hey, if somebody scores in the dying numbers, it must, and it's never happened to me, thank the Lord, but it must be like coming home from work and seeing your missus or your husband getting, you know, doing the mad thing in your own bed. That's how it must feel, or worse. Timikas, Cody Gakpo. How long have you lose the ball, bro? How long have you lose it? Fair enough. Found Timikas. He's pulled it across. Oh, Nana collects. The level of the... Bro, you, there's no way you could say that there's been good defending today. There's been six goals. Regardless of who wins and loses, it can't have been good. Both teams have been competitive in that, but yeah. There's been six goals, three conceded. Hey, Bruno Fernandes is jarring, man. Bruno Fernandes, you're jarring, man. I mean, you should do boxing for charity, man. I can't lie. You're proper jarring. I don't even support Man United. You just... What are you doing? What are you doing? Christian Eriksen. He's here with Onana. Oh, Onana, we didn't, we didn't. Okay. Oh, Nana's gone long. He's gone straight to Liverpool, though. The second ball's falling to Anthony. Ganacho wanted too long on the ball. Ooh, I like Conor Bradley. Oh, ref, come on. He's, that's a good tackle from Bradley-ish. I'm not going to lie. I don't think he did. School by defending. I reckon Ganacho takes a pen. I think he's got the mentality. Nah, I'll take that back. Sorry, Bradley. Sorry, ref. That was fantastic. Refereeing, to be brutally honest. Oh, Nana. Looks to knock it into the Man United's right-hand channel. Well, I, I actually don't know. Bro, Bruno Fernandes can't play deep, man. He don't know what playmaking is. He's so wasteful. And he has the ability to keep the ball. It's the mentality. He's actually very good technically. It's just you just want to get the ball and do superstar passes. You want to do them Zinchenko passes all the time. Your team's carried you in this second half. Absolutely carried you. And I don't want to make it the Bruno's show. I actually think he was all right in the first half. But when the going started to get tough and that mistake, as, as soon as Man United, you know, Man United started well, Bruno's playing well. As soon as United were met with some adversity in this game, he shit his pants. Young Diallo's been better than you. That's a lovely touch by McAnister and a lovely flick. Endo, is there a late goal? Cody Gatpo, Diallo sees it for a corner. Who's the better keeper for pens, DG? Well, I'm sure the Kelly has been involved in some crazy pen situations. But I think Onana will be the hero today. Onana, I, I mean, you could fault Onana for one of the goals, but I wouldn't necessarily. I think Onana's been one of United's better players today. Cody Gakpo is limping and moving very gingerly. You better toughen up, boy. You got some, you got a pen to take, player. Who will take the pens for Paul? John? For me, if I'm a Liverpool player or a fan, you want to see, I would say I would I would want to see Harvey Elliott. I think he's got the temperament. McAllister, 100%. To be fair, Van Dyke can take a pen. Oh, Harvey Elliott's pockets being picked. It's two against one. We might not see pens. We might not see pens. Ganacho to, Del to Del Dallo. Dallo. Oh, we're not seeing pennies. Hey, boy. Harvey Elliott from hero to zero. Diallo, the boy who could never get game time, has just saved Eric Ten Hag. Look at that young boy crying. I said it weren't going to pens. Don't ever doubt yourself. You said it weren't going to pens. I lost faith. I lost faith. Seven goal thriller. Boy. 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 Football. Sometimes you just... And you know what the maddest thing is? Neither team might not even win the, the FA Cup, but... He 
he, that Diallo he deserves that because he's been starved of first team football. Lovely counter attack in many ways. That's something Liverpool would have done, but that's something historically Manchester United have been attributed to counter attacks. Young Bradley, I can't, you're just part of the your, your collateral damage. You don't know whether to stick or twist. Peak, we don't need to be talking about penalty takers and all this. It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. It's done. Naivety from Liverpool's young players, naivety from Harvey Elliott, in hindsight, probably naivety from Jurgen Klopp. Boy. Seven goals. Ahmad. And the U is fasting as well. And if you're Liverpool, you played 100 and extra minutes for whatever. How can you not love football? That's the end. Is that the end of the game? He's thrown his shirt away. I don't, I don't blame Diallo if the game's not even done. He just said, you know what, safe. Oh, what? Gave a man a second yellow. To be fair, he should be more sensible and whatnot. But that this robs football, man. This passion thing. Obviously, he's young. He's naive in that moment. But what can a man do? I mean, I don't think it would matter. I don't think it is going to matter at this moment. But, boy. Now, 4-4 four, four is not going to happen. There's no Arshavin. I mean, it is a second yellow, but fucking hell, ref, have a heart, man. Bet you're fun at parties. Have a heart, referee, man. Well, Liverpool, you're gone, brother. I thought the game was done. Head loss. He's moving like, who's that guy, man? At the world? Was it the World Cup or AFCON? I'll be back up. They've been calling for him for months. And man deserves that moment, man, because he's been starved of football, man. Starved of football. I hope he gets more of an opportunity, if I'm honest with you. But hey, to be fair, Liverpool, you had your little thing in the League Cup. Probably out of the FA Cup, or unless we're playing on until they actually score, admittedly. But hey, but hey, still got the, to be fair, still in the Europa League, won the League Cup, still in the Europa League, got the Prem to focus on. Boy, boy, boy. To be fair, I think Ganacho's done all right. I mean, Diallo shouldn't have taken his shirt off, but I have a heart ref, man. Man, dash his shirt away as well. <laughs> Woo! I can't lie, you see football, yeah? It's mad. Sometimes, it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. This this game just makes no sense. It's a lovely game. Who would have known that? Obviously, women as well. But for the purposes of this game, twenty two players chasing a ball up and down the field. Like, how can it provide these moments? I'm sure if you're a Liverpool man, you don't agree. That's the end of the FA Cup road for Liverpool. Manchester United's Eric Ten Hag. They go marching on. And what can you say? There's been seven goals. There's been seven goals. There's been seven goals. I always say I want to be entertained. Yeah, Darwin Nunes, don't look at the floor now, bro. You should just put that. That's why you made that mistake. Should have been looking up and passing the damn blood clot football. And that wouldn't happen. Marcus Rashford. The abandon got saved. Boy. Boy. Manchester Derby final replay of last year. What a game. Liverpool can only blame themselves. Same way if Man United got shagged, they'd only blame themselves. On another day, when the emotion from this tie settles, both sets of managers can't be happy with the 90 minutes, can't be happy with the level of defending, cannot be happy with a lot of things. You know, they could have... It's mad because could have, would have, should have has no place. But both teams could have scored even more. And that just shows how football's up and down. Like, Harvey Elliott has scored a... It is a banger, but it's, it's, it's a deflection. It's not like my one. And then he's lost the ball. Crazy. Big up Anthony as well. You need you, you needed a moment like that. Boy. Boy. Boy, big up American Guna. I can't lie. Football needed this to start to get dead. I ain't celebrated the United goal in a while, DG, until Anthony and Ahmad. No quad for Liverpool. Well, hopefully there's no more trophies. Hopefully, well, the Europa League, I don't really care. Big up Klopp. The Prem... My Liverpool sporting friends are unbearable, man. It's got to be a kick in the teeth, though, man. This has this has to feel like you're, you've come home, your house is robbed, your wife's left for you. 
somebody's done fraud on your account. This has to, bro, this, fam, I'm not going to lie. Where's the Harvey Elliott slander for me to retweet on my time? Like, hey, Marcel, where you gone as well? Hey, boy. Boy. Boy, Harvey Elliott losing the ball in some idiot position. Damn. From hero to zero there for young Elliot. I felt sorry for Bradley. But that's, again, Klopp has to take responsibility because it's naivety. That's what happens when you play kids. You know, they should have scored that 5v2, but there's free, it's free, free is an exaggeration. But either way, there's more United players attacking for what led to the last goal than there are Liverpool defenders. And on top of that, obviously, it's a set piece or a dead ball, whatever. So Van Dijk's not going to be there. Why is the young Bradley there? Boy, it's peak. It is absolutely peak. The FA Cup has not disappointed this season. See, Arsenal, this is who we rubbed out to, you know. But it's not a kid's thing. You're old enough. Insane game. Liverpool fall off. This, this is just going to galvanise them, minute Because, yeah, bad day at the office. I never had Liverpool to win this game. It's 50-50 for me with all the injuries. I mean, I said 2-1 United. God said, yeah, you think there's only three goals? Yeah, I'm going to give you seven, mate. Football's ridiculous. It don't make sense. It's ridiculous. You lot, regardless of what happened between Liverpool and United, you lot are the man, men and women of the match because the likes have been crazy. Twitch, you've been doing your job. Yeah, man, it's been absolutely mad. It's always a fantastic time doing watch-alongs with you lot. And the FA Cup hasn't disappointed. I watched Chelsea Leicester. That was crazy, as we said earlier. Wolves commentary yesterday was crazy. It's not the it's not it's not the it's not the FA Cup, but I just want to remind everyone Fulham absolutely, you know, cook those chickens 3-0. And we've seen this. Crazy. And then you just remember what a way to get into the international break. But then you sit there and now you're now football's done for a sec. Like boy, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I wanted to see penalties if it means people are crying, but yeah, in fact, hey, hey. Wait, Liverpool fan. Roms, Roms, where are you? Because you've got a lot of chattings. Roms has a lot of chattings. He won't answer. He won't answer. He definitely is not going to answer. The man there, you know, you can see him. Roms, where are you? Man trying to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. The joke's on you, mate. Big up the Irish. He ain't answering. Look, you look can see him ducking the test. He's running from the ground. Before we get out of it, he's running from the ground. It'd be lovely. He's scared. Look, look. <sighs> All that we beat Arsenal crap for no reason, eh? Jam, you see what a jammy resort at the Emirates did? This is why United and Arsenal have won this the most time. Look, scared. It's, it's sad. It's sad. It's so sad. It's sad. It's sad. Oh, my guy, why are you not picking up your phone? I didn't watch the game. I just want to know. I did a bet. I I'd, I'd want to know if Man United or Liverpool won. I need to know how many goals there were, were. I thought Harvey Elliott scored a banger and then your young G bottled it. I don't know what's going on. I thought he was getting pens. You thought you could rock up here with the kids and that? <laughs> oh, it's been a great day, man. You see what my team did, DG. Yeah, man, you lot did your thing. I mean, either way, it was laugh at United fans or laugh at Liverpool fans. It is what it is. Comeback hype from Liverpool did not bang. But on that note, though, people, I'm going to eat my Sunday dinner, man. I appreciate you lot watching this game with me. I appreciate all the support you lot have given my content. For my Arsenal fans, check out the videos I've put out. Make sure you're following the socials, the Instagrams, the TikToks, the Twitters, the Instas. Most importantly, I hope you lot enjoy what's left of your weekend. I hope next week is bigger and better for you lot. Let's go, man. Safe. <laughs> Yeah, I guess this right back, Charlie. Oh, oh. oh.